last week, by the way. <laughs> All right. So we started off last session right after two cards from the deck of many things were pulled and meeting Sabrin's new protector, Helga. They told her a few things about what they're currently doing and that she might get to punch something soon. Uh, she took the information with a smile and told them to point the way. She then headed, uh, you guys all then headed into the woods north of Port Hope to find an inn called the Dark Mead, where they have been informed that someone named Z was located, and that she was some sort of oracle that has been telling everyone affiliated with the Lightning Strike crew what to do and where to go. Tooth took the lead as the main tracker, and after a few hours found a path that seemed to be going in the area you were told to find. Talos noticed part way in that they passed some sort of illusion and that everything around them might not be real. Tooth then had a suggestion spell cast on him, and he tried to tell them all that he was wrong and they were going in the wrong way and to head home. Sabrin also had the same thing happen, to which the group now had both of you saying they needed to leave. Helga punched Tooth in the face, telling him that he was the one who brought them here and broke the enchantment, and almost his nose. Francisco tried to hit Sabrin to do the same thing, but uh, things like that are best left to the professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, once they were both not under the spell, you were attacked from the bushes. Uh, the fight was quick and messy as Tooth raged and turned one of the drow into mush. Uh, Helga also had a little bit of fun first cutting down a tree with a couple strokes, which fell on the other half drow, mm -hmm. and then used said tree to smash it to pulp. Francisco wanted one alive, so healed one back up a little, cut off his hand to make a point. Uh, the half drow then was under no condition to talk, and with his good hand grabbed a vial, drank it, and died once again. So two found the path, and an hour later you found the dark mead. Francisco and Sabrin then noticed at the back of the inn a small boat heading towards a larger ship anchored out about a half a mile out. Ignoring the open door to the inn and the drow at the bar, you all decided to leave your four friends behind and deemed the four on the boat more important. You ran close to shore and teleported both of them to the ship and started to kill the crew. Where did I put that? Uh, they, you then took out the one that was at the tiller first and then the mage at the front of the boat and she unleashed a lightning bolt on both of you. With a little luck, Francisco did kill the mage. Friend, uh, Sabrin took care of one of the pirates that jumped overboard and had also managed to turn the boat back towards the shore as the last pirate alive jumped out. Uh, you left him with a crossbow bolt in an arm and almost knocked him out with your return. Once you were close enough to shore, you teleported back in time to see three of your friends lying dead on the ground with tooth covered in blood and ash. Uh, the other four members had a fight with Z that was fast and dirty and with a lot of mind magic going around, ended in Z exploding, killing Talos, Ben, and Helga. So the session ended, and we are now in death saves for three of them while you guys come. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, uh, Talos, I'll take yours first, please. Okay. I'm, it's gonna be, I've never had to do a death save on a character before. Not on a Warforged, at least two. I'm not sure. If I'm back, is it just a con save? Uh, no, it's a straight d20. It? Yeah, it's a straight d20. Ah, there and it is. Found it. You can actually roll it in uh, D&D Beyond 2. That's a 17. Okay, good. Perfect. Uh, in Helga. Nat one. <laughs> that's what I rolled earlier. Nat uh, one. That's was, that was that what that yeah. was for. Understood. Uh, I'll do one for Ben. Ben gets advantage for being reborn. Mm -hmm. Which is good because one of them was a two and just luckily got a ten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Tooth's going to... He's still technically raging. Um, but he does have a healing potion. Who would he try to get up first? He would know Talos is not. I mean, he, he has a little bit of a crush on Helga, but probably Ben. 
He knows Ben's not afraid of dying, though. And I don't. And I have a feeling, yeah, he'd probably do Ben. I think you're right. Um, I don't know so, if Tooth cares that Ben doesn't mind dying. This is true, too. Ben, uh, Tooth knows Ben more than Helga. Yeah. So he's actually got two healing potions, I just noticed, but I'll use the first one on Ben. I, I can get Talos and Helga up if he gets Ben. Yeah. So as soon as he gives... How many points was that? Five I rolled terrible. So at least Ben's up. Five. All right, so Ben's back up to five. That puts us in round of top of uh, round six with you and Francisco finally landing and getting and seeing this. <clears throat> uh, so I'm gonna run straight can, to chat. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say we can either do initiative or I'll just do the same round that we just did and then add you guys after. Up to you. Um, um, I'm fine either way. We just add this after. Okay. Well, after after what we just rolled. Well, no, that's fine. I'll, I'll give you guys you you guys see this coming. So if you guys want to take first, I'm good with that. You guys, I believe, had higher initiative than these guys in your round anyway. Yeah, I think that happened. Yeah. So you guys just get here. So we'll have. Uh, I think Francisco, you were better than Sabrin, so you'd be up first. Okay. Um, but Ben is up. Ben's up. Yeah, two's pretty much going. I got her. Uh, get Helga. Sabrin, Talos. I can get them both. That'll work too. I don't know what you got, Francisco. I've got a little bit. Um, first, this is going to run up and go, What the fuck? What happened? Get the fuck up and cast a healing word on Helga. What happened? You fucking left us. Where's the... Sorry. Swear, but yeah. Where's the body? The body of... Uh, she turned into Z. ash. Okay, there's gotcha. Just sorry. A pile I knew she exploded. Of, I forgot to yeah, do that. There's a pile of a uh, little bit of loot in oh, front of Oh, stuff. Bed. Yeah, that's stuff. Right. Yeah. So Helga was... Helga was it is going to be ba, 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 where are you there you are it's gonna be eight points of healing okay uh, so Brandon, yeah Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I will uh, run over to Talos. Okay. Uh, and I will start mending. Okay. Uh, Talos, uh, you can give me two more death saves with advantage because you're being mended. I'm also going to healing word myself. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I was just going to use all of Ben's spell slots to... Uh... Heal everybody up. Oh, you can use his. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see if uh, I need more after. I don't know if we're getting uh, pretzels today. So, uh, sixteen out of ten. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, well yeah, sweet. Oh, it turns out it doesn't let me do advantage. That has to be the first roll. Uh, okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, so your second one's good. Ooh. So. Let me fail on the second one. Fail on the second mm -hmm. one. So you got two good, well, one down. Yes. Okay. Do I know that's happening? Uh, you'd be able to... You're in the middle of trying to do uh, mend him for the first time. With his body... Mm, not the first time. Oh, okay. Um, no, I've helped him mend himself before. Give me an arcana. Or okay. a medicine check. Either one. Nope. Arcana. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> uh, 21. Uh, 21, you'd be able to tell that he's struggling... Like, he doesn't have blood or anything, but he does have quite a lot of holes in him. And it looks like uh, some of his internal runes or whatever magic is keeping him alive um, have been severed and are, mm. like, almost turning off. 
Shit. I can't help you. Oh, uh, well, actually, if this is... If this is happening in rounds, then technically I can help him. Ah, right? This is happening in rounds, so I would have yeah. gone again before he rolled his his last save. Correct. There? Yeah. Uh, okay. Then I will bonus action um, convert a first level spell slot okay. to a sorcery point. Okay. Um, Do you have, like, quicken? No. Well, yeah, but that doesn't Oh, well, I mean, I guess I could do that, but I was just going to make him save. Oh, okay. That works, too. Um, oh, right. I, okay. I was just going to bend I luck. For, I forgot about that one. Yes, 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 yes. Is that the one that yeah. causes a wild magic? It does, but I'm going to do it anyways. Okay. Um, I don't have your wild magic. I'm going to bring that up. That's fair. Give me a second. I just want to make sure that I am doing I it I right. forgot about that one. It's what, a 2d4? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, can I spend one spell slot and gain a number of sort of points equal to the spell? Yeah, I only needed one more. So I'll do one first level spell slot, okay. use both points to give him an extra. Because this is not this is a saving throw, Correct. right? Death save, yeah. so I all, all, all he needs is one point to make that. So you, you're, you're a minimum I give two. him. I give him five. Okay, so that is your third save. Um, so you're yeah. stable but you're not going to regain hit points until she's done mending you. Uh, um, so we're, we're but technically only two insane. rounds in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I will roll my, on my table. Yes, please. I did use it. If you explode, <laughs> I'd just kill me. <laughs> I know. I will be going. Look. <laughs> that's okay. So if, that, if, that, if that's her going again, I'm going to go over to the pile. Okay. So I'm away from her, just in case. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Yeah. Uh, it, the d20 was a 9. Okay. Not the best option, but... Well, it's still moderate. Could be fun. Could be. We'll see. Um... Okay. Uh, it's an 88. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, uh or a fifty six. Ooh, and I'm allowed to turn take the worst? You just get to pick. Mm. Which one's more interesting do you think? What cantrips do you currently have? You're losing one of them. Um I have a lot. I know. I you, you're permanently gaining one first level spell slot, but you're going to be forgetting oh. a cantrip. The uh, only way I'll you take can that. E the only way you can end this is a remove curse. Uh, I, I don't feel like my guidance from my item would. No, I'm not worried about this. that one. Okay, yeah. I'm going to roll a d8 then because I have seven cantrips right now. If you want, or if you want to take one, that's up to you. Uh, I, I, think I have I'll seven take cantrips. Tell me what you have. Okay. Uh, okay. Dancing Lights, Frostbite, Mending, Message, Prestidigitation, Ray of Frost, Shocking Grasp. I'm going to persuade myself if you're going to lose Message. You're losing Message. Okay. But, you but I permanently gain slot. a first level spell slot? Sure do. That's dope for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was either that, or you're going to be uh, all. Everyone in front of you is going to be vulnerable to cold damage for a minute. Now, yeah. <laughs> that, that would have been really good during that fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, been. exactly. Yeah, but right now, no, you're going to lose message. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so over the course of the next, it takes a minute. Uh, you do see that whatever power source is in. Talos, whatever you just did turned him back on, but he's not. It's basically he's in reboot mode until you heal him. Okay. Um, Francisco, uh, everybody actually give me a percent. Well, uh, 
<laughs> you two give me a perception check. And tooth. And actually, okay. uh, Ben, you get two. I'll just take perceptions. Passes. So it's going to be a 15. Okay. Uh, 22. Um, while in the process of bringing Talos back, um, you guys all feel in the inn like a shuddering underneath the inn. Like mm -hmm. a deep, deep, dark rumble. Almost like a thunderstorm is brewing underneath the inn. Move. Get away from the inn. Take cover. <laughs> okay. Uh, which is a good thing. It's not too bad. Um, so Tooth is going to grab Ben basically and drag Ben. Uh, Helga, you would see after Francisco brought Helga up. Um, she's kind of staggered over to Sabrin, and she's just looking at you and go, Ow? I'm supposed what? to protect you. Why the fuck did you do I that? I was fine. Yeah, You're the yeah. one that went down. You're bleeding. Yeah? As soon as she says that, out I grab from... that pile of stuff as I leave. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. Make sure you grab this <laughs> Out from underneath the inn, you see a massive explosion go through the inn and out the roof. Ooh, and wow. this massive... You've seen the living lightning bolt that Peter turned into. This is like triple the size of him. This thing's huge, and it's just... It just sits there, but the inn starts to, like, cave in a little. This is like a good almost 20-foot radius hole that just appeared. This thing is going to basically... You're going to see it hover and turn and look. And then immediately come right down to you guys. Fuck. And stare at you all. In your heads... Okay, here. Yeah. My thanks, mortals. I'll deal with the rabble for you, but take heed. I'm not the only one of my kind that was imprisoned by that bitch. <laughs> Good luck. And you see this thing streak up into the sky and immediately go for the ship that turned to come in. <laughs> Yay! We're not in the Earth murder no And within seconds, that ship fucking disintegrates. Like, I mean disintegrates. Whatever they're carrying on board ignites and you just see the ship that's a half a mile out and coming in quick with about 50 crew on board just and then this lightning bolt just goes into the sky and then leaves um francisco also, as soon oh, sorry, as that happens uh give me perception checks again please uh francisco how much did you heal uh helgen for um it was eight points and eight, I, did, okay. I rolled another 15. i'm gonna use uh, some of ben so don't worry about that i think ben can get everybody up uh 16. Oh, technically I can roll for Helga too. Yeah. That's you're, you're still in the middle of bringing up Talos, which is going to take another 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why I'm not using guidance. I'm, I'm yeah. keeping the well, that's, that's a thought. Did I hear it in my head? Despite no, being... You're not... You're you're not conscious. You're technically... Sabrin's turning your inter internal... You're, she's helping you reboot. So not yet. Did he right. get supercharged right. because of static in the air? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, he's actually, I think, resistant to lightning. Oh, I can't I'm remember. not sure about that. I can't remember. Um, no, fire, oh, cold, you, poison. You have, you have absorb elements as your yeah. reaction. That's what it was. Thank you. Um, from inside the inn, it's a little muffled, but you hear. Oh, great. There goes the only thing that has bothered to talk to me. I don't suppose any of you are good conversationalists. 
I think this that's one series, Francisco. Hole. This is coming out the hole? This is coming from inside the inn. Oh. That you haven't gone in yet. Um, we'll say, t- say for sake of brevity, Talos, you are at one hit point. Um, as, because uh, we saw that, Francisco and I saw that. that sure did. Lightning person thing. Yep. Do I have any idea what that could have been? Um, give me a lovely arcana, please. Um, arcana? So, yeah. So the first cure wounds here is Ben is going to heal himself for seven. Yeah, that helps is healed. I can do it. Uh, the second heal is going to go to, um, Tooth for helping bring her up. So 11 to Tooth. All right, that puts Tooth to half, so I'm not worried about uh, that. Uh, the next one is going to go to Helga. Let's burn a third. So Helga's getting 23 back. Mm-hmm. And how She's are you pretty much a, a half, too. I, I need a healing. Okay. All right. You're getting a fourth level cure wounds from Ben. Okay. That'll give you 35. That's almost more than I have. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. I could use that. You pretty much yeah. just come over. <laughs> ben gives you a hug and pretty much just a recharge. It's like a joke. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, t- how much do you need, Francisco? What are you at? I'm at, I'm about uh, one third of my max. Okay, I'll do another fifth, the fourth on you. Eh, not bad, you get 42. Oh, nice, <laughs> that puts me back up to full. Okay. Uh, um, I'll, I'll use another fourth to, on Ben, on just Ben healing Ben. <laughs> because Ben will uh, have a lot. But 41, that'll put almost Ben full. All right, 53. I got a... Uh, hey, new spells. 27. On what, sorry? My Arcana? Or what that creature was? Uh, Definitely some sort of lightning elemental. Yeah. Um, It's pretty much um, like if someone captured a lightning bolt and animated it. Hmm. This thing was massive, like 12 foot tall. This thing was big and burly. Uh, Do I think this was manufactured? Or just captured? Like, like well, is that said, a natural he, he thing? He said imprisoned. Imprisoned. He well, said uh, imprisoned. He, but the Brandon just said animated a lightning bolt. Well, that's so that a, would imply yeah, someone. Yeah, that's just, well, no, like, it's just, that's what it looked like. Someone okay, would gotcha. a lightning bolt. So, basically a lightning elemental. Yeah. It, okay. It's lightning personified. So just yeah. a really huge lightning. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, until you go inside the inn, uh, no clue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's fine. Just on site. All right. But on a good note, you guys are all back up and alive and <laughs> healed. Probably on a set of spell slots doing that, but Ugh. Yeah, I'm pretty tapped too, Ben. Okay. Um tell us if you wanna if you wanna stick close for a little bit, I, I can I can try to mend you some more or if you just wanna do it yourself or we could both do it. That, but... that, that, that could be helpful. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll just yeah, I... um if you guys want like, to go in the in and, in and take more time, yeah, the both we're gonna do, do that it. too. Okay, uh, um, but I'm gonna do that thing where I like I put my hand like yeah, uh, like link arms with with Talos sure. so that I can keep a hand on but still look around and stuff. Understood. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, uh, as I said on the uh, before, um, there was uh, some sort of wand that fell in of her. Her mm-hmm. armor fell in of her. A sword hilt fell out of her, and a helm fell out of her. Okay. That's gathered. <laughs> and uh, to, the, to the voice that spoke out. Are you coming in? I think it's safe. It's kind Who's, of hard to uh, see because I can't see currently. I'll, I'll approach. And, who's oh. speaking? I'll move you over to the map. Where I thought uh, we were going to fight. 
<laughs> Talos, do you want to stay out here for a minute and, and help me look at these items and see if we can figure out what they are while Francisco talks to whatever that is? Uh-huh. Or do you want to go in? Yeah. I put have some spell slots spare. Just give me a few seconds. Sure. Oh, never mind. I don't have identified prepared, so I can't use spell slots. Gotcha. Oh well. Uh, the sword hilt is very, very black, metallic, very intricate and ornate. Um, this kind of looks oldish. It's not something you would have ever seen someone create before. Does what? it in any way look similar to my offhand sword? No. Okay. What size that... sword does it look like? Uh, more of a hand, one hand, hand and a half. Okay. Uh, I just need to know who touches it first. Um, that would probably have been me because I'm the one who picked up. I literally picked them all. You up did at the same move time. it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so because I, I did move them away before the explosion, so oh. so the fireball <laughs> that sounds about right. The sword says, You're a fucking drow. <laughs> uh, no, but it does start talking to you. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, hello. Who are you, by the way? Are you worthy? Do you like power? I can give you power. The previous owner didn't use me to my full potential. Would you like to? So, Francisco's holding this sword hilt, and he's probably dropped everything else now. I'm just like, excuse me? Well, I'm kind of useless without someone who wants to use me. She really <laughs> want to use me. She tried to use me in the ways that she wanted, but I said no. But we were bonded for quite a while, so I had to stick around with her until I found someone worthy of my expertise. Define worthy. Well, I can is Francisco saying this out loud? Yeah, Francisco's just <laughs> stopped. <laughs> and now he's literally talking to this inanimate object. He's just like, uh huh. I just this, isn't the, this isn't the weirdest thing that's happened to. I him. just look at Talos, curse sword. Yeah. I, I assume. What did I miss? The end's missing a roof. Oh. Oh, yeah, some weird, like, huge lightning um, elemental uh, crashed through it, thanked us for rescuing him, and told us that there's more imprisoned somewhere by this bitch. So, like, and then it destroyed the boat that was out there. It's crazy. Yeah, if, you, if you take a look, or if you walked around, you'd just see debris floating everywhere. Oh, but also there's a voice inside that's saying we can come in because it's probably safe, but then Francisco stops yeah. to talk to the cursed sword. Yeah, uh, Helga and Tooth are basically walking up to you. Go, put it down. What are you doing? What? Shut, what's shut wrong? I'm, ha I'm talking. Uh, Helga's gonna look. Leave at him you alone, go, Helga. Little... He's busy. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's got hit in the head a few times. No, uh, that happened before we met him. Oh, well, that makes sense. By the way, we're gonna have to figure out what he is. You haven't told me, and why he's got one horn. Oh, I think. I don't remember why he has one horn. He had I, two, I, like, two I, days ago. You insulted someone and they punched it. Did they punch you. it off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And fortunately, did not damage my tattoo. Nope. Yeah. Which you did Which not activate. Use you didn't even use. I hadn't, been, I hadn't been able to test it yet, so... True. Mm. So, uh, for those, well, are, are you going to sit and listen to him talk, or are you going to go into the inn first? I'm probably going to walk into the inn talking to this thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, those who come into the inn, you see a massive hole, which is blacked out in the middle here. Um, looks like there's some sort of basement, hard to tell. Um, the 
voice, other voice that you're hearing is coming from over here. Uh, looks like it is um, kind of like the same size and shape as Kelvin, but it's got like a black cloth over top of it. I want to touch it. <laughs> Hello, um, I can hear you walking in here. I can't see you unless someone wants to take this off. I really I'm do, looking, but I'm busy and I'm just still mending. I'm, I'm going to look at the sword <laughs> and just be like, just you you hold on a second, okay? I'm going to tuck in. My can you take this other call? Hello? <laughs> pretty much. They're putting on hold. <laughs> and Francisco yeah. will unless say. you drop it or put it somewhere it's going to keep asking you the same thing you'd have to set it down to shut this thing up yep yeah. then I'll throw it on the table okay I got shut up <laughs> <sighs> one too many things talking to your head <laughs> yes. yep you're welcome uh so, uh, who am I addressing? Hello? Uh, how about you give your name first? Oh, I am the great Constantori. How are you? Never heard of you. Oh, I am, I'm, I'm quite eclectic in uh, the collectors of great art. So... I'm quite old, by the way. But... I can only reveal my secrets to someone who wants to get to know me. You get to know me, I get to know you. We have a great time. We have a great bond. Then I can tell you all of these secrets. Um, Francisco, sleep with the painting and it'll give you a secret. <laughs> First off, I'm going to roll an insight on this okay. thing. That's fine. I love the dog. Ooh, Nat 20. Oh. Ooh. Um, are you taking the cover off, or are you going to keep it on? I'm I'm leaving the cover on until okay. I get my feel for this thing. The Nat 20... You've met Kelvin. He's an asshole. Uh, he's pretty much... It'd be kind of the, something similar to... This is a magical painting that basically is there to record everything he hears and sees. Maybe Calvin would be less of an asshole if we brought him back a hot painting girlfriend. Yes. Okay, so I'm, but I'm not feeling in danger or anything from this. No. Thing. No, it's just more you killed the person he was attuned to. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, he is. Pull, pull off the cover. Okay. Uh, what you see underneath this um, thing is definitely a very old piece of artwork and I'll put it in discord what he looks like definitely looks and sounds like a pompous ass oh gosh okay sorry a hot painting boyfriend yes uh, when he speaks eyes don't move lips don't move everything is just coming from the portrait um, it does kind of look though if you took an axe to this you'd probably destroy it yeah. Sure. Um, so yeah, he's pretty much going, hi, oh, that is better. Oh, you are an interesting bunch. Wow. Um, I don't know what Z did to piss you guys off, but that was entertaining. Be glad you weren't in here when that happened. Woo! The thing she had planned for intruders. Woo! Oh boy. <laughs> so <laughs> I figured you would. <laughs> That's up to you. Um, he's just basically going to say, well, now. I, well, I, there, there's a lot of things I'm great at, but I am pretty much, well, well let me bring up this magic item. Oh, wait. I am uh, a famous painter. Painted me a long time ago. He was paid in a staggering sum, sum to be, well, technically I was, my original person was based off was to be his model. Um, basically a crime lord of some sorts. 
I am quite smart. I can hear within a range of, oh, about 120 feet. I can see in the dark. I can pretty much see anything behind me, too. I have lots of different languages I am I know. I am pretty much a great person. Like, I'm a good spy. You could put me in somebody's house. I'm a great person. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's pretty much a painting that learns and listens, and if you're attuned to him, he will tell you, unlimited range, what is going on. You can set him anywhere, and as long as you're attuned to him, he does take an attunement slot. He will tell you everything that is going on in his vicinity. He is a wealth of information. Uh, he is pretty much, yeah, his purpose to, is to observe and recall conversations. Uh, he will tell you that he's about 3,000 years old. He has a lot of knowledge. But he won't divulge that unless you attune to him. And to do that, you need to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, almost like a staring contest, for an hour while he gets to know you and you get to know him. <laughs> I'm touching the sword while Francisco is busy with the painting. Okay. Hi. What is this? Ooh, you are interesting. I have to. Too. I want to know what it's at. Hi. Do you like power? Do you need power? Do you want to be your Probably. best self? I can help you with that. You want to be my best self. Ooh, what it? I can I help you with that. I maybe I shouldn't have picked things. you up because I can't I can really use a sword. But I can smite your. I can make you able to use a sword, dear. That's quite oh. easy. That's part of our pact. Oh. If you are so inclined to accept, I would be grateful to have someone useful for a change who wants to use me to my full ability. <laughs> the sword thinks that Zim was a bitch. What <laughs> is, I'm just talking to Talos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What um? What do what do you, what do you want? Like, what are you trying to what do? What do I want? I just, yeah. I want to help you be the best you you can be. Oh. Yeah. It's it's Dang. more of a and and literally you would be able you're you're gauging that mm -hmm. he needs you to say yes I agree something in that sort. Uh huh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Before it'll actually tell me what I need to do. Yeah. Or, I assume, yeah. Yeah, like this is basically, yeah, it's a hexblade weapon, so. Do you sword, do you, you know require that. attunement? Hmm, I think so. Let me check. Hmm. If you are saying, do we need to be bonded to each other while you be your best self with me, then yes. Oh. Okay, thanks. I'll let you know. Bye. I'm going to be back down. Okay. <laughs> I really want the sword Talos, but I kind of am all like gonna... tied up on my weapons and stuff. <laughs> Helga's looking at it. Like, you can tell she's a little interested. I know. I now. considered it. Because yeah. she's really the best one. I, I, I planned I up this a while ago because uh, you guys were supposed to be here when you were level five with Belen. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> so she was supposed to help you through this part, um, but because you came in at level eight, I just made it a little different, and then you attacked a boat. Um, but yeah, she's doesn't really have a lot of attunement slots used, so yeah. she could use it, even though you all still have a chance. But attunement slots are a pain in the butt. Yeah, Talos, do you think that we should give this sword to to? Helga, Could I, I really want it to be my best self, but I kind of like all the things that I have right now. Um, I, I, I she already fights stuff. Can't be careful, like, Kathy look at it first before anyone. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Helga, we might give this to you later, but it's definitely cursed. Oh, Talos yeah. is going to look at it for us. Well... My parents told me to uh, learn something new and enjoy myself while I'm out here. So, what's a curse between friends? It wants you to be your best self. I'm already. Well, we'll, we'll talk about it later. We'll talk. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, <laughs> I briefly but... consider if maybe the sword doesn't want Helga, and then the uh, the portrait's pretty much going. Hey, I w I'm already my best self, but I can't use it, so I'm sorry. 
But if you guys would like to, she could also attune to this thing too. It's it's just funny. <laughs> I mean, technically, I could attune to it and unattune to it. Yeah, like as long as the, yeah, the thing is, as long as uh, because this thing has a limited range, it still count towards your. You could still stay attuned to it, but you can't use it with having three other things on you. It's it's. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, he's pretty much a wealth of information. Um, he's also going to say, oh, I do have one pretty trick. Um, I can either do it against someone or against the wall. How about against the wall? Ah, he's going to shoot three magic missiles at the wall. He's also defensive. Nice. We should okay. definitely have him shoot Kelvin. Do you know Kelvin? Kelvin. Kelvin. You're an old painting. He's an old painting. Hmm. Is that racist? Not all, not all old Never paintings heard of know each other. No, Is, Kelvin, I mean, Kelvin also did his own. Yeah. they're both dicks. <laughs> I'm not a dick. I'm just... Hmm. Z called me a dick. And that's when she threw this over top of me. Hmm. Maybe she Did you like say something to her? Oh, what'd you tell story. her? Um. Oh, well... It's not really something I can um, or should repeat without getting to know you. <laughs> okay. We can... Uh, well, I'm sorry, what what would you say your name was again? Constantori, at your service. I'll give you a freebie. Behind the bar, she has two lovely magical chests that you might want to try and figure out how to open. Do I, Francisco? I've got this one. <laughs> Thanks. Just to um, say right. for you, because that's not technically information. You'd figure it out if you actually went to look. All right, Connie. No, how, about, how about we uh, we have a conversation? Uh, Talos, what are you identifying first? Well, the sword. So oh, you're yeah. gonna uh, the sword is gonna come back with a name only. Oh. It seems to have the ability to mask everything other than its name. <laughs> The name you're getting is called Black Heart. Someone's been watching. <laughs> it is not technically evil. You wouldn't get the feel that it's evil, but it likes to have a little fun. Okay. Well, like scratch a note into the table that's lying on like Black Heart arrow. Have we absurd. ever? We've ever heard no. of the black heart sword before? No, uh, hex like in in this world, warlocks are there's some of them, but they're they pose as like sorcerers or wizards more than warlocks. Okay. That it's more of a um, a niche, not that found. Um, hmm. If Ben was here, I'd let Ben figure out why. Yes. Yeah, it's because they're Tell pretty us. much. Hunted down and killed. I'm wondering if the helm has something to do with like telepathy or keeping things in or out because there's been a lot of that lately. Do you think that would make sense? I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch what you said. Cut out. I'm wondering if the helm has something to do with like keeping in or out telepathy or something. Do you think that would make sense? Because I mean, the thingy talked in our heads, and there's a lot of things have been talking in our head to say. Oh, I so I'm wondering been. if maybe it like blocks them or something. Tooth's gonna speak up and go. That could have been just Z too. Like, she was a bitch. Mhm. Mm totally. I suppose that's that's next on the list. Thank you. Okay. I'll go if Talos seems a little more a little more healed because it's been a couple we'll, minutes that we've been we'll, vending. We'll say he's at least half. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'll go look for the stuff behind the bar. That. You know, okay. Um. Actually, no, you make a good point. I can, since it's not a, I don't have it prepared, I can use the ability to cast it. Cast it. I want to cast... Uh, Detect magic? Detect magic. Yeah. Okay. And it's like, oh, a look for thing to look for traps. Yes. Okay. Uh, going around the hole in the ground, uh, I'll say that uh, Helga and Tooth have been looking into the hole. 
uh, in the basement as you guys are walking around, they're going to let you know, or actually Ben's got the best dark vision. I think Ben might actually notice. Um, looks like some sort of almost like uh, Talos, you would recognize something that would almost look like a uh, workshop of some sort that might uh, have a few interesting things down there. Um, also, you would see the remnants of, well, Ben would tell you that there's a remnants of a massive, almost like uh, your what your black staff is in, that this thing was contained in. And it's got a weird set of tubes running to a chair with tattoo needles. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. I was like, tattoo. Been, this <laughs> was what created the lightning bolt tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it oh, that was polished. Well, that one there is very bright. <laughs> are, there, are there anything like on this level other than the chests and the painting? So you're gonna gauge the painting, all the magic, all the items that uh, dropped off her. Uh, in behind, you're gonna see behind like a thin piece of wood, two glowing, uh, what looks like chest size. Um, and you could, you'd be able to tell, even uh, Sabrina would tell, that like there's a false panel that just pulls off. <laughs> um, one of them is... Tr um, so they're both magically sealed. One of them is magically trapped. Alright, I can totally do this. I've broken a magical seal before. Which <laughs> one is the one that's not trapped? Uh, we'll say the one on the right. Talos. It, this one, do do. Locked, but not. It's not. It's magically locked, but not magically trapped. We'll do yeah. That one is first. this? Is this? Can I? Can I take it's, it out and put it on the counter, or is it big? It's big, quite heavy. Okay. Yeah. Can just, I? I'll just just try and drag it out. Just that. drag it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got it out. I can't. <laughs> I'll have. I just call Hogan to help me pull that. Yeah. Um. Are you going to try and? bypass the magical lock without like getting rid of the oh totally a hundred percent okay yeah ben can't cast knock i think tooth is the only one who can do knock uh, um, I, I can knock. oh but i want to try you know you can try first if you like it's quite a high dc if you get that 20. <laughs> um what is this a slide ahead um yes okay now are you using thieves tools or your knife again I'm probably a dagger again. No, you got these tools now, don't you? I can't remember if Do Talos I have these tools? You... Talos can make you a set with his internal I thought... components. But I can't remember if he ever did. Oh, you know I what? I think them. we talked about it, but I don't think um, did. Wade wasn't here. That could be it. So if you want to say that he, uh, Talos at some point has made you a set of tools, I'm okay with that. Do you mind, Talos? Not at all. <gasps> yeah. Thieves tools. Thieves tools. So yeah, click on your uh, thief's tools and roll through them, because that should add everything for you. Uh, I'm just going to roll. Okay. Um, and then I'll just add, because I'm not proficient yet, so I just add the three Correct. for my set of hand. Yep. Um, but I'm just seeing what I do have. Um... Sorry. That's fine. I thought I had... Yeah, I'm definitely going to use my knowledge from past life. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm not going to use the thing that gives me advantage. Okay. Because I just used a... Wild magic surge. So I'm just going to try it and see what okay. happens. Sounds good. Guidance! Okay, that's probably not what I'm doing, but... Um... It's not bad, I just don't think it's <laughs> Actually... Uh, that knowledge from a past life might have really helped me. Um... 24? <laughs> You're one off. 
<laughs> you 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 know it's like I'm good at this. I'm good at this. It's right. Ugh, I missed it. It's like you just missed one tumbler. Um. You can try again if you like. I can try again if I like. Sure can. <laughs> Is Francisco looking? <laughs> now Francisco is talking to. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try again. You're talking to who? Sorry. The painting. The painting. We'll say Helga's having a conversation with the sword then. Okay. Yeah, Francisco would want more information on B, so. Okay. On Z, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. He's pretty. Uh, so if you want to attune to him, yep. uh, so it's going to be an hour. Damn it. Yep. Okay. So I rolled another 24. Be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys will notice that she's trying to pick this and having no issues. Well, Francesca doesn't do, notice. Do, do you want me to? I can try it one more time. Okay, one more time while Francesca's not looking, and then I can, if I can't get it, you can. I'll do it one more time. I'll try it one more time. Okay. Literally one more time. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have Ben go downstairs. No, nope. <laughs> absolutely in not. Nope, I rolled a two. Okay. Except a bit. <laughs> right. so I kick gonna... it and then hurt my foot a little bit. <laughs> okay, you're gonna see uh, Ben uh, go down the stairs and into the basement with um, Tooth. They're gonna go take a look at what's downstairs. Okay, I try. Yeah. And you, you can try it. I'm going to walk over to the, the chest and just sort of tap it and cast it. Knock. Okay. Clicks right open for you. I'll try it on the other one. After, <laughs> after it's after it's not trapped. I want to cast... Can I cast a spell magic on the other one? Um, you... On the magical trap? Yeah, yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, you're going to have to roll me... What level are you doing it at? Third level, just base level. Base level. Oh. It's just so yeah. Take the uh, and knock. Okay. Um, yeah, it is a third level spell that's currently on there. Oh, yeah. So that would make it a so it just DC works. thirteen. Yep. Okay. Well, I thought if you cast, oh, that's the counter spell, isn't it? Yeah. It's um, spell so different. Yeah, still, give me a uh, uh, Arcana. Is it Tarkana? No, sorry, it'd be um, your just a D twenty plus your spell ability mode. check using a spell casting ability. Yeah. Right, so it's just plus five. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One. Nineteen. Yeah. Because uh, baseball. Magic? What are you? Because it's got two on there. There's a magical lock and a magical enchantment. Which one are you dispelling? The enchantment that I think is a trap. Okay, definitely was. I'll get rid of that. It was a fun one. Okay, now I can uh, do it. I'm that's gonna try a, and that's pick a, a lock. Happy to avoid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, it is. Uh, you've seen this trap in the other campaign. Uh, Cargath failed an intelligence save and attacked everybody. Oh. Oh. He was. He was a fighter, by the way. <laughs> and he was, oh, fun. Knight decided to start slashing everybody. Yep. All right, yeah. I'm gonna try and un unlock this one. That now okay. that Prince, now that uh, Talos has. Absolutely. I can't do it this time. <laughs> huh. I can maybe do it this time. It's the same number. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Eight, nineteen, twenty. 25. That's what you needed for the uh, the magical lock. Perfect. Used uh, all so my things. You currently now have two chests unlocked, and one of the trap is gone. Uh, it was the enemies abound trap. Uh, so if you fail a intelligence save, you think everyone around you is your enemy. Um, I already think that. I say <laughs> click really loudly so Francisco knows. I got it, Francisco! Thanks, Alice. I'm busy. 
I'm All working right. on this. It's my new skill. Yep. That I'm working my favorite on. color is red. Yes. <laughs> yep. Um, are we okay with Helga saying yes, or do you guys want to discuss that later? I'm cool with it. I'm leaving if that if, to... If Talos has said it's not inherently evil, I'm going to leave that. Yeah, I'm going to leave that to say. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. If Probably. everyone's good, um, eventually we'll add an easy. extra level to Helga's now going to be a sixth level. Uh, five fighter, one hexblade warlock. Amazing. Ooh. I love that for her. All right. And that would have been interesting. That does not work even a little bit with her fighter build, but that's no, so funny. I that would have worked pretty good for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's called Blackheart. Um, it's already in there. She can add it to her character sheet. Um, if she dies, I'm thinking that's the word. We won't level her until um, oh. the next morning. I was already doing it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I'll go that's back fine. Out. You can do it. That's fine. It's no, no, just, it's fine. I, I can. I can RP wait. wise, I might have something happen to her while she's sleeping. Okay, I will wait then. Because it does have a few extra hidden bonuses there. I'll wait. That's right. <laughs> um, it, it pretty much. Um, do I have it up? I didn't bring it up. Do I? Do, do, do. Blackheart. I can read it to you now. Because I have it on this character sheet. So, Blackheart, uh, it is a artifact. Um, it is a... It can go to a longsword, uh, greatsword, scimitar, it pretty much whatever you can use, it'll go to. Um, I've made this one as a longsword. Uh, mm. It levels up with you. So until you're level seven, it's a level two weapon. At level seven, it goes to level. No, sorry. At level seven, it goes to a level two weapon. At level fourteen, it goes to a level three weapon. Um, it is a packed blade. At level five, the weapon has advantage on attack rolls made against a creature that has X blade's curse on it. Mm. Um, at level ten, the weapon adds an additional D eight necrotic fire, cold, lightning, acid, force, or poison damage. You can choose during a short rest. At level 15, you can use your bonus action to make one additional attack with this weapon. You can only apply the extra attack bon uh, to this bonus action. At level 12, the bonus dice increases to an additional 2d8. So it'll be doing 48 damage at level 20. Uh, it is sentient, has a 16 intelligence, 16 wisdom, 18 charisma, has dark vision and hearing up to 120 feet through any magical or non-magical. It is chaotic neutral. It can communicate uh, with its wielder telepathically and has a suave sounding voice. Mm. Uh, the blade is shaped so that it's not so different from any typical longsword, save for serrated edges. I will show you a picture of it. Um, but yes, and the black. Its blade is black as the abyss and hilt. the hilt is bright silver. I'll show you the picture of the weapon. Eventually, once uh, this is like the type of weapon that uh, Helga will be able to eventually summon. That is Blackheart. Now I'm disappointed Ooh. that I did not pay for this. <laughs> I know I want it. Yeah. Well, Shima didn't take a blade singer. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, mm, it's right. Uh, I know, right? Eldritch Knight or blade singer. Yeah. We could change Helga to an Eldritch Knight. She can change her subclass next time she hits I a. She can. Yeah, it, it'd be uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, you guys have technically had her for less than a day. She yeah. died. You've changed her entire life around, and now she's a played warlock. Hey. <laughs> this is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Uh, what chest are you opening first? The one that had the magical trap or the non magical trap? Probably Talos's okay, non-magical so trap one. The non-magical trap. He opened it first. It's his. Beautiful. You are going to find a very, very encrypted book. Uh, you will need to spend time with it. Uh, you will be able to uh, gauge that this details all her dealings with the lightning strike. Um, she kept a lot of it in her head, so there's not a lot written in there. It does specifically state... If you forget something, talk to Constantori, because he probably remembers more than you do. Um, 
there's not a lot in here. It looks like she started detailing everything and then decided to keep it to herself and then maybe got the painting because of that. It's an old book. Inside is 1,200 gold, mm -hmm. 80 platinum, 400 silver. Plus the book itself. Oh, I'll put that in Discord here. My God. It's a shame we can't ask her corpse. There is also another book in there that is titled Lightning Strike Ships Names Alliances All the Goodies. Mm. It basically tells you the names of currently uh, free ships that are out in the waters that are all part of the Lightning Strikes crew. And it also tells who has a lightning bolt tattoo on them, where it's on them, their name, what ship they're on, what they do. There's also... But it's not list. encrypted? This part is not, no. Oh, the, the encrypted part is more um, detailing other stuff. Um, and there's also uh, ships not under control of the lightning strike, but have active or inactive crews. Uh, one name will come to your mind, uh, the Owlbear's Revenge, Pirate, Strawberry Lily, Inactive, Halfling, Upper, Right Arm. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a list of like that uh, also. Uh, I will actually just copy and paste this entire thing for you. This is eventually in the book. I'll actually put it in this one too. So there's a first mate, a uh, captain, a bosun, a cook, a merchant, a uh, strawberry lily. Uh, then there's the bearded terror of the Dwarven Navy, Grand Admiral Stonefist, uh, mm. Francis, no, I don't think any of you would know who that is. Nope. Um, then yeah, uh, just a variety of fishermen boats and stuff like that. So it's basically five ships that are currently completely under control of the Lightning Strike crew, and then the other ones just have people on it that are active or inactive. Mm -hmm. And what is in the other chest? I'll flip that one. The other chest has a crystal ball inside. Mm. That's it. Mm. It's very ornate. It is very... It's like half the size of your head, perfectly round. And as you pick it up, it's almost like there's like a cloud forming on the inside. Hmm. You'll have to get it identified. Does it turn red? Apparently nothing uh, happens until okay, you- So we, we haven't and forgotten actually, anything. Sorry, give me one. Yeah. Uh, I don't think this one needs attunement. <laughs> Let me double check here. You will need to identify it to get its name. Um, yeah, it does not require too many. Oh, no, sorry. Yes, it does. Yes. Yes. Should so, open the one with the money. Is, is this the same thing that um, it is, in the uh, other campaign? Other similar, campaign? similar, but a similar. different one. Yes. This one hey, tell us, do you want to switch? That. Do you want to switch boxes? <laughs> Um, so for sake of brevity, I'm going to assume you, uh, well, Francisco's having a good one-on-one -on -one with the painting, uh, that'll give Talos time to identify everything. Um, mm. eventually, um, Ben and Tooth are going to come back up with a vial with three needles in it mm. that are also Don't, magical. don't share needles. <laughs> mm. Like tattoo needles, full ones. Yeah, don't share that either. No. Oh, oh, okay. Um, no. Oh my God, I don't have. I need more attunements. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna... But remember, you can still have more. It's just yeah, I know. You, you, you can't more. actively. Yeah. yeah I, I, I so uh, what is what is the time frame of that? You can only use three in so for a how fight it, or it takes you're a... currently doing. Like, so, if you're in the middle of a battle, you can only use three. 
If right. you are out doing anything in the world, you're not being attacked, you don't have time like constraints, mm -hmm. you can use whatever you're attuned to. As long as it's on you, if you stick it in like a bag of holding, it would probably lose its attunement after Okay. Okay, yes. interesting. But certain things like the painting, because it has unlimited range, you can set it and forget it. And you're always going to be attuned to it until he spends an hour the painting with someone else and it okay. to them instead. Yeah. Okay, I got you. <laughs> um, what would I do the painting as? Out of curiosity. The painting, I will give you the link for Constantori's painting. Just so I can add it so to yeah, it's my literally import. Constantori's portrait. Okay. Constantori. Yeah. Um, he has an AC of 12, 20 hit points. He's immune to poison damage. Uh, has a gold leaf frame, weighs 15 pounds. Uh, if the painting has at least one hit point, you can mend him back to full. If anyone smashes him, he is dead forever. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to add him in there. Oh, are, you, are we sure it takes an attunement slot? Or are you adding an attunement slot? No, it says attunement slot on the actual magic item. Okay, I don't. Maybe it's because it's. Don't let's see. Okay, there he is. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, it says requires a two minute at the top. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so over time, uh, you guys um, will notice uh, just for an extra little bit of fun. Um, while you guys are talking, and this is going on. Um, I need, uh, you're close, Francisco Sabrin. It'll happen when these two are downstairs. So Helga and Francisco and Sabrin and Talos, basically everyone except Tooth or Ben, roll me a perception check, please. Uh, 18. While you guys are doing all this fun stuff, you hear from behind outside the sounds of someone struggling and maybe you had a survivor that's crawled themselves to shore. Hmm. I'm still I'm still talking to the painting though. Unless okay. my, unless an hour's passed, right? Uh this would have been within the first like twenty minutes. Like Okay, so yeah. Can we, can we you get that? <sighs> I'll get it. I'll get it. Well, Helga and I will go get it. Well, while okay. Talos is 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 identifying the yeah. stuff. We do things together. This is this is what we do. Remember, I will do this together for now, but also because I still kind of want the sword. Okay. Um, so when you guys come around to the back, uh, you and Helga. You guys, I really want the sword. <laughs> if you want to retcon, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Uh, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Do it. Okay. Do it. Well, because um, I forgot that we could be attuned to more things, and I don't use yeah. my guidance stone during fights. Nope. It's fine. I'll think about yeah. it. Okay, that's fine. Um, you find the lone survivor of the one that's got a crossbow bolt in his shoulder. <laughs> slowly has dragged himself to shore and is currently bleeding out on the ground. He looks quite young. Uh, for a half drow, um, like maybe 30s, kind of hard to tell with half drow, uh, looks like shit. Um, and he's pretty oh. much just got one hand up saying, don't, don't kill me, sorry, I, I'm new with these guys, um, this is my first trip, sorry. Um, and uh, what's your passive? Passive what? Perception. Oh, uh, I have a 14, so does Helga. Okay. That's enough to see a fresh lightning bolt tattoo on his arm. Fresh one. Very fresh. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Elga. Hi. You want me to kill him or do you want to? I so I so much want us to kill him together, but well, I'm also wondering if maybe he deserves <laughs> it. Well, but do you think he attacked you, right? Well, no, it's technically we attacked him on the boat, but that's fine. What, uh, I'm assuming if you No, he is around, with these people, though, yeah. Uh, she's just got her axe up. 
Hey, um, mister, before before my nice lady friend here kills you, why do you join these people? Oh, um, well, money? Mm -hmm. They pay well. And, mm -hmm. well, um, didn't have a choice. Um, they'd like to kidnap your family and force you to work for them. Mm-hmm, inside check. By all means. I believe that as a thing. I want to know if it's happened to him. <laughs> okay. Good. Don't trust him, he's half trust. <laughs> That's true. I half trust him. Um twenty one. You'd gauge that uh maybe something happened but probably not to him, yeah. Mm. Yeah. He's just trying to get sympathy. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, that sounds terrible! And in, in our heads, because I'm psychically linked with Helga, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, oh my god, that's terrible. We are totally gonna get you out of this, and we've killed all the Helga kill him. And we've killed all of the yeah. things! <laughs> Pretty much. He, he had three health, so, yeah. Uh, he is now decapitated. Oh no, oh, Helga, no, oh. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Okay, good job. <laughs> Together. His, body, his body's just gonna slowly fade and go back into the water oh wait does he have any i'm just gonna pat him down real quick uh we'll say maybe six gold Ooh. um he'd probably still have a couple daggers on him uh his main weapon is currently gone maybe half serviceable regular leather studded armor that's about it okay i'm gonna take the gold and a dagger uh, maybe he still has a pirate hat Ooh, take that. okay how about you say i love you costumes have one. I, I do I wearing a okay, hat? Okay, it probably fit you better anyway. Am I even wearing a hat right now? Uh, you I don't remember. You did have a pirate hat at one point. I, I collect a lot of I things. Do. I don't wear most of them. Okay. Yeah, oh, it's fine. Here you go. <laughs> um, and here, and I'll give her, I'll give her uh, the six gold, because okay. she, she probably doesn't have that much. I think I gave her Don't remember. Hat. Did I give her a hundred? Okay, I take the six gold then, because I have yeah. I have significantly yeah. less. Actually, I'll split it. I'll give her three also, and I'll take three. Yeah, you also did just get a lot of money again. You're, yeah, you're yeah, just, yeah. You're well, back up to what two thousand with the what you just got. It's fine. We'll split it. I'll give her three and I'll take three. <laughs> okay. To be fair. Um, Together. Yeah. Uh, anything specific you want to talk to Constantori about? He's not telling you any other information about Z until you're attuned to him. He will tell you stories about his life, like people, uh, like maybe I met this guy, I did this thing. I met this person. Oh my God, she had a great ass. A lot of conversations like that. He's gearing his wording and stories to you. Okay. Because he's never seen a tiefling before. He doesn't know. He, he's he been told about the dome. So he's assuming you're one of them. And is trying to get to know them more than you. Through wow. you. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Francisco. The way I imagine this conversation really going is. Mm -hmm. Think about the guy going to therapy that doesn't want to be at therapy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, that, this, that's how I met. We, we can say this is, this is an AA meeting for the two of you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, that works perfectly. Um, so uh, Talos, I'm gonna give you just the list because this is what I assume you guys are gonna do. The crystal ball is a crystal ball of telepathy. It is a legendary item. Requires attunement. While touching it, who's ever attuned to it can scry on anyone for as long as you want, as often as you want. I knew it's that's DC what it was. 17. Uh, you can communicate telepathically with creatures you can see within 30 feet of the spell sensor. You also mm. get an action to cast suggestion once per day, which you guys have seen. Um, you do not need to concentrate on the suggestion to maintain its duration. If the scrying ends, the suggestion spell ends. So you can now scry on anyone as long as they don't make their save, and you can telepathically communicate with them and suggest them do something. Okay, now for scrying, we only have to know what they look like. We don't have to have met them, right? Well, or be familiar need, with them? You need to know something, yeah. So you've, That's you've interesting. heard about the target, they get a plus five to their save. Uh, yeah. You've met them, they just as a straight roll, 
you're familiar with them, it's a minus five to the roll. So, like, if you scryed on Kaga, she'd yeah. have a minus five to her save. That's very interesting for our list. Yes. We don't yes. know where half those people are. Sure don't. So I, so I can watch Carter changing, is what you're Technically, yes. Definitely a minus five. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Don't so technically so fun just to mess with people. Yeah. Just, I suggest you do a little dance. Yeah. Yep. We can screen your dad, maybe, but it's probably blocked. The the helm that Z had is a helm of telepathy. So the Helm of Telepathy also does uh, require attunement. Uh, you can use an action to cast Detect Thoughts. This will also work through the Crystal Ball of Telepathy because you're going to be able to see them. You can also use your Helm of Telepathy, uh, which was why Sabrina also had to do it because you can also, while you're doing it, cast Suggestion. So while you're wearing this Helm as an action, you can cast Detect Thoughts, 13 DC. Uh, as long as you maintain concentration on the spell, you can use a bonus action to send a tel ah, telepathic message to a creature you are focused on. It can reply using a bonus action to do so. While you're focused on the creature with Detect Thoughts, you can cast Suggestion, it's a lower DC, set, uh, 13, from the helm on the creature once a day. So it's a mini crystal ball. Mm -hmm. The wand is a wand of magic missiles. She's used all but one charge, so someone can have a Wand of Magic Missiles. Um, the breastplate, the armor, is a mar Mariner's Breastplate, so it basically gives you the ability to swim your max speed. Yeah. And if you die in the water or go unconscious, it'll float you to the top. Does the, um, the vial with the needles that Ben and Tooth brought up, is that magical? The, they are. One of them is a ghost step, uncommon. I rolled for these. The other is a rare masquerade tattoo. And the ah. third one the third one is a legendary life well tattoo. The legendary part I'm... is just how much it actually covers yeah. your body. Yeah. So the life well tattoo. Boop, boop, boop. Um, so they're basically needles. They do require attunement, so you do need to attune to them. Uh, the life well yeah. you gain resistance to necrotic damage. Um, mm -hmm. And when you're reduced to zero hit points, you drop to one hit point instead once per day. Mm -hmm. The masquerade tattoo, I believe, is... You can cast a text... Uh, um, uh, disguise self or something. Disguise self on yourself, yeah. yeah once yes. a day. Yeah. What was the other one? And the other is a uncommon ghost step tattoo. What does uncommon mean for the ghost step? Uh, give me one second here. There it is, ghost step tattoo. Or does it simply it's rarity? Do you have resistance to bludgeoning, Bludgeon. piercing, Bludgeon. splashing? Um, you can't be grappled or restrained. You can move through creatures and solid objects as if they were difficult terrain. If the end of your... Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's basically like a like an upgraded bed for for a yeah. second. Yeah, yeah, it's a, like a mini rage. Yeah, yeah, has three charges. I'm not going to lie, I have Yeah, the uncommon, interest. so the, it'll cover half a limb or your full scalp. That's for how much it covers. But it is technically a very rare tattoo. Can Talos take tattoos? Can he take tattoos? Yeah. Because I'm, just... I'm thinking that life wealth tattoo, if we can like a... stop Talos from dropping to zero and needing to be mended. Um, hmm... Because all it says is when you would be reduced to zero, you dropped one instead. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd say it would work for him. Although you you do already have do you already have resistance to necrotic? Uh, no. 
Mm -hmm. I've just used a fire, cold, and poison. Yeah. That might be good for you, Talos, the life well. No, I can agree with that because, especially because it's we don't have so anything to be able to him. heal you. Yeah, it yeah. takes me oh, a yeah. minute to get him to one. Yeah, like technically, Tooth and Ben can also attune to extra stuff. So, sure, if you want one of them guys to get anything. Yeah, because uh, Tooth's only Tooth's, Tooth's only attuned to two items. Ben's attuned yeah. to three, but two of them are kind of useless. Well. I'm not gonna yeah, lie, okay. and this is this is AJ speaking. Um, they don't get it because they're not here. No, uh, <laughs> the the uh, the ghost the ghost step tattoo that gives resistances to certain to damages, and without Francisco has a tendency to go down, might be very useful for me. Yeah, um, yeah, it takes a lot to take tooth down. Yeah, yeah and he he gets resistances through mm -hmm. barbarian. Yeah, so that that's that's my meta point. Mm -hmm. Francisco's yeah. always down for more tattoos, though. So. Yeah. Ben's actually not terrible. Uh, ben can use a shield, but we haven't got one for Ben. Once Ben gets a shield, he's got a 19 AC, so... I have a shield I can give Ben. Okay. Uh, like, like, like it's, not a, it's not a special shield, but I have a shield I can give Ben. A regular shield would put Ben to 19 AC. Let's uh, put that in his inventory, and I'll take it out. Shield. I would not hate a disguise self, but not for anything necessarily story-wise practical. Like, I would use it to avoid my family that I've been avoiding, but if you guys think that there is a better use for it, I'm okay giving it to someone else. I have the book that lets me... I know, you have it. You don't so, need it. So for me, it's like, spell. yeah. Talos has the spell. I don't have the spell. Yeah. I don't feel I'd like still, Tooth would um, use it necessarily. I don't I feel inclined to put off assigning magic items. Well, we are all here. We can I can put where my hand in front of Ben and Tooth. Some of us have been a bit quiet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, honestly, and of all of them, uh, like you guys can also, uh, like, Shit, like switching them around and whatnot. I don't think it's true. I don't think Talos. I mean, uh, I don't think Tooth would care about the helm. Um, the breastplate. He's a doesn't need armor, uh, so he wouldn't use it. And same yeah, with Ben's either. got better armor. Um, the wand of magic missiles wouldn't be bad for Ben. I'm okay. Um, either that or for a good ranged for um, Tooth. Cool, giving it to either of them. I don't mind. Yeah. Um. What type of like what armor is is it? Medium it's heavy. Plate. It's a medium. It's breastplate. Yeah, Mariner's breastplate. Um. It's an uncommon magic item. It's like a fourteen so, AC, I think. So attune it for that also. No, it's just a. It's just a piece of armor. I mean, I can use it, but if you all want it, you all can totally nope. take it. Absolutely not. It's I don't think any of us can wear that except maybe Helga. Uh, yeah, I think it's just me and Helga. You, you take it if you want. It. it makes more sense for you. But if it's not going to be useful to her. No. no. I... I want the sword. Okay. I'm yeah. looking at Hexblade's curse. Okay. It's... I can gain a bonus to any of my damage rolls against the cursed target equals my proficiency bonus. Any attack roll is a crit on a 19 or 20. And I okay. regain hit points if the target dies. That is up to you guys. Yeah, by all means, you can, you can totally take it. I can, I can use my charisma instead of my dex or strength. My, my charisma is really fly right now. Mariner's breastplate. For the attack. And, yeah, I can use my charisma for my damage rolls with the weapon. Okay. I, I I want it. I'm going to I'm gonna steal it from Helga if, if, if Talos doesn't have any objections. Besides and... the fact that it's definitely cursed. We're we're okay with me taking the uh, ghost step tattoo. Yeah, I'm just cool. sure. Yeah, yeah. Tooth, tooth. I'm pretty sure 
if he wanted a tattoo, he would have gotten a tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of my thought, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and that tells him to stop you get, taking the sword. Mm. He's already tried to identify it, and he's got the thing with its name. Yeah. Okay, I'm... actually, it doesn't change my AC at all, but the, the breathing on the Deep underwater stuff, stuff. Yes. is really good. I mean, Francis is a pirate. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, basically, this thing, it looks like a, a, a normal breastplate, but it has like barnacles on it, and it's always wet. It looks like you just came out of the deep sea covered in like uh, um, kelp and stuff. It looks like you, yeah, it's built for underwater. Nice. I want, I want the sword. I'm taking the sword. Okay. Change my mind. Hi, you again. Hello. Mm hmm. Do you want to be your best self? I would love to be my best self. Oh, goody! What would you like me to look like? Oh, oh boy. Um. It's probably well, going to look like the same, but if you want it like to be a, it's still going to be technically a long sword, but it. You that's will fine because I can use my charisma. Immediately for it. now, you can level up, take a <laughs> hexblade warlock. Yeah. It should give you proficiencies in whatever proficiencies. Do you, do you want me to wait until the next morning? For the most, uh, you can do it now. We'll just still RP it okay. during the night. Yep. Yeah. You might learn a little bit of his history and whatnot. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um. I just, uh, can you look, and I'm just gonna picture it so that it looks, uh, because it's already black, but it's so that it looks a little bit more like obsidian than whatever material it's made out of. Okay. Yeah. Right? So, like, the whole thing looks like a, like a, sh like a large, yeah, like, because it expands, the, the, right? Like a large shard of obsidian. Of obsidian. Yeah, like, like jagged and now, shit. other than the silver, little pieces of silver in the hilt, um, if it was dark outside, you wouldn't see this at all. It kind of <laughs> blends into everything. Um, but as soon as you say yes, like you, the hilt disappears in your grasp and you Ooh. feel it like enter your arm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do I get like, do I get a tattoo of a sword on my arm? Is that what I'm getting right now? Um, would you like one? I'm, uh, <laughs> flavor wise, I'm okay with it. Um, like, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's if it's like conjuring it is like flicking your wrist and then it just kind of goes swoop. That'd be neat. say on the inside of whatever arm you want to use, <laughs> you just have the outline of where your hand would grip. Amazing. So it's almost like just gripping the hilt summons the sword. Dope. And you neat. also get another inner voice chuckle and go huh. well we'll see how that works for you this is going to be interesting well this is going to be special mm. <laughs> good luck it's blast now that's <laughs> um but yeah that is all the loot you're going to find in there and let's go for a break amazing there's a clear divide in the party those are covered in tattoos those not. <laughs> yes. This is true. True. Yep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much half of you guys are covered in tattoos. That's funny. Freight secretly been under his robes is just completely <laughs> and, covered. And shredded. Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Yep. Oh, start again. Right down time. Okay. Um, the list of ships that is on the journal that Talos found and has gone through. Um, Francisco, give me a history roll to see how many of you know. Okay. History is not my strong suit. I think no. I got a plus zero in that. Um, so, but that's natural 15. Mm -hmm. Natural 15? Um, I'm going to say... Anything that says pirate ship on there, you've either heard of them, maybe not have come across them. In the back of your head, it's like, ah, it's been a few years, but yeah, that, okay. Yep, I know them. I know that, okay, those are a bunch of assholes. That makes more sense now. Right. 
stuff like that. It's pretty much just more mm, shit. And if they're still active and not captured, could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, ben and Tooth would have let you guys know that whatever contraption was downstairs that was used to create the magical tattoos is completely destroyed and probably never going to be able to be used again. Um, I will let everybody give me Arcana rolls. Shitty. Is this something I can guidance on, or is it just a... Five. Uh, this is just more of a, oh, okay. hey, in, in the process moment. 21. Ooh. 13. Nice. That's uh, nearly the lowest I could have rolled. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sabrina, you're really the only one who puts it together. The lightning's gone. Z's dead. Whoever has one of those tattoos is probably free now. No, let's not tell Lily that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But we didn't see we didn't see the guy the the kid outside. <laughs> Helga and I didn't see his tattoo was still there, right? It doesn't it was disappear. There, but it's probably just a tattoo now. You know, Viv? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, Do I think that it may have alerted the people that it's inactive? Do I think it has that ability? Or will they not on... know until they use it? The more tooth uh, Talos delves into the book. Um, given the sufficient time, um, you would have probably maybe gauged that Z had to command the elemental to activate it mm -hmm. mentally. Maybe she was in control of him. Okay. But if he's not there, she's not there, they're just a tattoo now. And they're probably uh, just going to stay on it because it's still ink. Mm -hmm. the magical property is probably never going to be able to be active. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys, uh, the tattoos are useless now. I think they're just regular tattoos. I don't think they can be activated anymore. Which yeah. I really hope is true, because it's going to be super funny next time we fight one of these guys and he tries to activate it and it doesn't do anything. Yeah. And yes. we can just be like, we killed your bitch, or whatever. But if you share this information with uh, people that you know could use this information, especially the ships and whatnot, mm -hmm. uh, it'd be easier for them to be captured. We've got to tell Carter. With. So, um, what's next for you guys? What do you want to do? Is there out? This is a bar. Is there alcohol here? Definitely. All right. I'm opening the... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, I'm opening uh, the hole. I'm just gonna start. Yeah. Uh, Francisco, during your talk with uh, Constantori, um, he would have let you know that the group that just left, they were new recruits that were brought here just to get their tattoos and to be initiated into the ranks. Um, and as soon as Z, you're actually gonna get her name. Her name was Xandramus. Xandramus. I will type that out for you. Do, do, do. Now that she's dead and you're getting to know each other. Hey, Francisco. Mm. Um, oh, Highness, you're painting. Um, Francisco, do you think that Greetings. you could ask, because um, you guys are buddies now? Uh, actually, maybe I can, and then you can just tell. Um, uh, Constantino, sir, um, do you happen to know where um, they're keeping the families of people they've convinced to join who needed a little more persuading? Um, are you going to wait the full hour before you ask him that, or is this during Francisco's attunement part? Oh, no, no, after, because we were looking at all the stuff, and I was outside with the sword, and so after. Okay. Um, he's just going to look at Francisco and go, do I tell you or do I tell her? You and I have a just, great connection. I also look at Francisco. Just tell me. <laughs> just tell Okay. Uh, give me the question again, because I just forgot. Uh, um, 
Do you know uh, where or any information about who is holding the people's families that needed a little more convincing to join? Oh, right. Those. I heard about this from some, uh, the guy outside told me. <laughs> what she said. Uh, right. Um... Not here. Um, I have heard others in this general area talking about a lot of um, underground layers throughout New Luna, a couple others on some of the other continents. They're pretty spread around. Um, for the most part, from what I've heard, they only do that to uncooperative, high-ranking officials that they need into their ranks. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it would be great if we had that leverage. Um, do you also happen to know how many or where, because that the, the big lightning guy, he said that no. there were others like him in prison. Do you know where or, or, or how many there are of him? I have been passed on through many hands. One of them gave me to Z as payment a long time ago. Yeah, about 80 years now, anyway. Um, no, I have... I've been oh, in glamour for most of my life, hanging behind some of the most powerful in this world. But no, I'm fairly recent to Z's uh, entertainment. Who had you before, Z? Who paid? Oh. And, yeah. I'd need a persuasion roll on that one. Okay. It's kind of one of those, like, if you ask a merchant of who their clients are, they don't yeah, really he's, want to tell he's, you. Yeah, he's, 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 he's telling me. Uh, <laughs> he, he, it's a 25. I'll let you know when I come up with backstory for someone who... Okay, I just didn't know if it was someone we knew, that's all. I was wondering um, if it was, like, no beard, beard. or, yeah... Anyone I'm you actually, already. Let's, let's do it this way. On your if it's list, not, that's fine. No, no, no. On your list of ships that currently have crew members, we'll say he was... Who would be a fun one? Let's say he was... Oh, and it would be a ship that's not under control. Or actually have a oh my God. crew... Please say Jassy J. That's who I was thinking, yeah. <laughs> Captain Jassy I want to go to the Jay. No Regrets ship. Yeah, there's a ship called No Regrets. It's a merchant ship. Uh, and when Captain Jazzy J was brought into the mess, that was his last known place of business. The back of a merchant ship. Amazing. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to know if it was anyone we already knew, but thanks. So when that hour up is up, I am fully wanting as much information about Z as possible. And okay. also Prian sees if he's seen he knows her a lot dealt. about your father. Good. He knows a lot about your father. Um, I will type it all out and send it to you. Unless you want to RP the next hour of information. Uh, <laughs> uh, strapping, st strapping, guys. <laughs> yeah. um, On it. So pretty much anything about your father, his location, what he's doing, I'll let you know. Um, you, he will know that where he currently is on Fortune Island. His crew has been spread around a lot and he's trying to gather all his resources and move to one central location mainly because of the blockade the army the dome he's not scared he's more angry and upset and has been killing a lot of people to get what he needs done fast and maybe within a week maybe 10 days He's going to be gone from where he currently is located as he moves his, um, what counts, he would pretty much tell you his, um, science lab mm -hmm. is the hard one to move. Doesn't care about the people, doesn't care about the money. 
it's what's being created there. Also, I want to ask if my mother's name has came up and is my name came up. Neither. Okay. Nope. Just because you said this is for yeah. 80 years and I'm only yeah. what, 23? So. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, you'd be able to gauge that there's many bastards just like the dead girl told you. I kind of assume, but you're just making just, sure. Yeah. Like maybe he uh, uh, just, yeah, your mother was just something to play with. Yep. All right, babe. Yep. Um, yeah. Um, you can also, uh, you didn't bring your Vardo, um, so you're going to have to carry him. He's quite heavy. Um, can I stick him in the hole? He's too big for the hole. Oh, oh sorry, really? Hole. He's the hole, right. Not my, my back. Hole. Yeah. Um, no. The other group has a um, bag of holding. The you guys said the hole, hole is uh, six feet in diameter. Yeah, easily. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fit in the hole. Yeah. Yeah, we can put him in the hole, and then so um, I'm filling it in. <laughs> I'm filling in the, the, oh, the alcohol in the hole with with <laughs> okay. the painting. Yes. Yeah. Um, ooh, 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 keep an eye on this. Yeah. Keep it. Oh, oh you want it? Okay. Here you go. Yeah. We'll, we'll say there, like, this is a working bar for yeah. the lightning strike, so it is stocked. Yeah. So we'll say, like, if you want, like, to throw 20 kegs, pony kegs of alcohol in there, there's a lot. She definitely has a taste for wine, so there would mm. be specialty wines in here just for her. Amazing. Many kegs and bottles of fancy bitch wine. Yeah. Amazing. And you would also in the gauge, box. she's got a place to live here, but she doesn't keep a lot of stuff. Maybe mm -hmm. she has the ability to port somewhere to her actual home. Mm -hmm. So can we like just no do closet full of her stuff? That's what I'm trying can to say. Can I with with Tooth and, and Helga and Ben and everyone just while well, well, they're doing other stuff, can we just do like a, a deep search for any like hidden um, crevices or anything because we already have the chests, but yeah. any anything papers, right. anything, anything else. Imagine oh, no, now that to him. Tell me all the secret spots, bud. Uh, <laughs> he would tell you that you've already found any of the magical stuff that was currently mm -hmm. in here. Whatever he doesn't know, whatever she didn't write down, mm -hmm. she had a great mind. She remembered a lot. Yeah. I'm still just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna investigate around and just see if there's sure. anything else. Yeah. And you would also get from him that she considered herself, and she, because she could scry on people and talk to them in their brain, they thought she was an oracle because she knew things. She had um, no oracle okay. abilities. She was just a good mind witch. And the crystal ball did most of it for her. Yeah. Uh, that is a natural 20 for a 29. Nice. For your investigation of everything else? Yeah. Um, nothing else. Like, you're going to get foodstuffs here. Um, there's nothing really... You'd be able to tell from here. It is a working bar, but she did everything. There's no extra clothing. There's nothing else hidden in here. Okay. You've got... Even the detect magic would have pinged something else if there was anything in here. Okay. No, no thing, loose, no loose coin or anything. Coin, no. The only other thing you would coin find box. is maybe some um, like vials of ink downstairs that for tattooing different colors. None okay. of it extra magical, other than what you've already done. Maybe she didn't. I think I'll take that anyways, okay. just because Francisco and I might want it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just take ink. some extra color ink. Yeah, everything, like all the uh, the machine was destroyed, anything else was destroyed, but you'd have tattoo ink. Um, as we're downstairs as well, I know the machine is destroyed, but I'm just mm -hmm. gonna have Helga, like, kick it a couple more times to make sure. Okay, she'll just take her axe and just start hammering. Yeah. yeah. Sprint does not like things that cage things. So. No. Okay. Just, just to be extra sure. Absolutely. Is there... I'm, I'm gonna ask Annie, is there a but she's expected to meet with anyone else within the next day or two. Oh. Her and I didn't have the best 
working arrangement. She sometimes forgot I was here. So she didn't really tell me her schedule. I was just more... If she had things come in and she forgot something, I was supposed to remember it for her. Okay. Yeah. So no one you know of next day. No, it was more... She contacted who she needed to talk to, or someone sent her a sending saying, we're shipping new people here for their tattoos or to get initiated. It was more in her head, as long as she didn't need to write it down or tell him to do something specific, she didn't tell him. Gotcha. He, he's more okay. of a sit and forget and try not to pay any attention to him, so nobody else did. Time of day is it? Uh, you're currently... Two-ish in the afternoon. Okay. Cool. We have so ten have days of... until Francisco's dad leaves. A week to ten days. A week to ten days. Seven to yeah. ten days. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, burn the place to the ground. Sure. <laughs> Helga's already. I'm already on it. <laughs> Pretty much just opening like crappy ale and pouring it around someplace. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I can. Uh, can she carry him? I don't want to carry him. Oh, I put him in the bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put him in the hole yeah. with the alcohol. So, and Yeah, until you yeah. need him anymore, he's now in the bag. Nice. Yeah. Uh, tell uh, us, did you want to carry the, the crystal ball and all of that, or yeah. the gold, or do you want it in the hole as well? Yeah. Um, I'm assuming oh. if we had Joe here, he would argue that the crystal ball should not be used for anything that Francisco could come up with. Probably. He, he would definitely tell you he does not want you to have it ever. Because he doesn't <laughs> trust what you would do with it, and you should not have that power. Dirty God. <laughs> he, he would, I, I'd almost think Joe would want to keep the ball. Or at least give it to Talos or Ben. I don't think he'd trust the two of you there. to have that. I just want to use it for the list. What, what did I do? Just because I have two levels of bard now? Just, this is, no, this is classist. I, I think he would probably want to tr keep the ball. Fair. It's just a little oh, chaos. Yeah. I, 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 I already assumed that no one was going to let me touch Nobody. the ball. <laughs> <laughs> just wait I, I, I have a feeling I, I need to uh, let Joe have that. Offend it. But okay. Yeah. Um, are, can we count that as a short rest also? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, okay. I will stick a crystal ball of telepathy in his inventory and he'll say, why don't I have a legendary item? Hmm? That just gives me my bardic inspirations back. So. <laughs> yeah, so the other group on uh, Thursday, they got the uh, crystal ball of mind reading. Oh, nice. So there's just detect thoughts at full time, but actually, it, it, weird. It it it's odd. It worked out that they got it last week. And we get this one. You guys should have got this one a long time ago to help you with your list. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but they just got the other one. They tried to use it twice, and both people saved. <laughs> nice. Um, oh, all right. So, um, so yeah, if we're if we're done in here, uh, you guys have a two and a half, maybe three hour trip back. Um, actually, I'll put you on the map. Uh, you'd be able to gauge where you currently are compared to the. Uh... <laughs> My Arcano bonus went up. Yeah. Look, uh, it's a plus twelve now. Nice. I love knowing things. Uh, what map is that? Anyway, I'm going to move you guys just to this map, and I'm going to... Amazing. Pin. Oh, my God. So, you guys, I'm going to ping... Actually, if you scroll in, I have actually put your marker there. So, right above new uh, Port Hope, right here, uh, yeah. that's where you guys currently are. Um, uh -huh. It's you're, you're technically maybe four hours to Port Hope. Okay. Oh, because we walked a bunch? Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. And I mean, I, you know, we exit the. Whenever we exit, freaking, I'm going to just cast firebolts everywhere. 
Yeah, um, this place is old, and it looked like pretty much the magic of Z, whatever she had on this place to keep it nice and look. You even remember some of the illusions of the forest went away. Um, you'd be able to tell that this place um, was under a lot of magic to make it look like it's nice, but it is quite run down, um, rotted in certain places, and even most of the forest in around this area has been cut away to burn and do other things. So it's like decimated within like maybe another like 500 yards in and around you all. Cool. Can I, uh, once stuff has started burning and stuff, can yep. I like, long. this might be stupid, but I, I kind of want to do it anyways, because that's mm -hmm. my whole thing. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to, to try and use like, if I can, my shocking grasp cantrip to like lightning strike the lightning bolt symbol so that maybe if other lightning strike people come they think that it's been like a turncoat thing okay if the symbol is on it just just an idea um yeah try it that's all that's what i'm gonna do yep but i do have to touch it so if i take a little fire damage i'll take that yeah, we'll just say you're... We'll do it before. I'm okay with that. Okay. Just because. Yep. Guess we better start walking. <laughs> um, so uh, what's awesome. your... Uh, what was your damage? You don't need um, to... I just want to know how much damage you're going to try and do. Uh, it is... Eight. Okay. Um, you go to use lightning damage against somewhere that you see anything. Mm -hmm. It seems like <clears throat> there's still some sort of inherent maybe residual magic that absorbs lightning quite a lot in this place mm, okay yeah it's e even still burning there's enough residual magic that she basically made this place lightning proof because she had a living lightning bolt in the basement that could shock pretty much anything magical oh, no, sorry yeah. anything metal if it got we're the, sh we're the shock yeah <clears throat> Okay. Um, for sake of brevity, uh, do you guys want to do anything in, during your four-hour trip home? But Well, but not home, but to Port Hope. Mm -mm. Nothing I can think of. Yeah. I'm pretty tired. items that we haven't already attuned to. Yeah, whatever you want to attune to, it is now attuned. I think I'll... Um, I... Oh, my, uh, my ghost step tattoo, I'm not yeah. doing it on the torso, I'm doing it on the head. And oh. what, I'm think, what I'm thinking is like kind of like tenderly flames that yeah. are now circling the bases of the horns. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, for certain things, um, so you don't have to like keep um, like the tattoos themselves need to be attuned to you full time. If you need to override your attunement slots, by all means, just so it's there. <laughs> just whenever you're not using it, just unclick it. But if you need to have like seven or eight attunement slots by all means yeah it'll just make things so much easier for you later on it's just the tattoos are going to stay so yeah. that way they're not they exactly. don't keep turning back into Correct. the thing i yeah. i unattuned my um guidance Christ but i still okay. have it yeah that's fine right i just yep, attuned that's, easy. So it's dead. Yeah. that's all i'm okay with that all right um where are you headed oh. back to your inn uh, you would know that that's where Toots wants to go to check on your deep Rafi who has been there by himself. I did want to ask on the walk just, um, mm -hmm. if if the sword has told me what it wants yet. Uh, you would gauge that it's still saying I'm trying to make you your best self. I need time to get to know you. Alright, that's fine. <clears throat> But if you oh, he's 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 a classy man. Yeah, I'm just gonna like 
in my head to the sword, just like download it on like everything about my life so far, just yeah. for the entire four uh, hour walk. <laughs> it's going to be so ma- sick of me. The majority of what he's asking you is, do you <clears throat> have any enemies that need to be vanquished? I would gotcha. love to help you with that. Oh, yeah. And yeah, almost yeah. like if you gave him a list, who's ever first, almost as if he's trying to find them for you and point you in that direction and force you to go kill them. Yeah, I mean, top of my list is Francisco's dad. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> you, you'd, you'd almost get a, a pull to that direction, almost. But not 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 like before, yeah. it's more of a... Yeah, he is over there, right. Yeah, I know he's over there. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, basically. And Francisco, wants, wants I think this to... sword can tell me where your dad is. Or at least the direction. I think Maybe it might be able to tell me where anyone I want to kill is. <laughs> only, only <laughs> okay. If, yeah. Uh, you'd be able to gauge he knows where you know they are located in that certain direction. So it's more he's picking Close your brain enough. saying the last time she knew where this person was was over there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what was Talos? Uh, what were you gonna say? I, I missed you. Sorry. It was, it was more of a question, but okay. got to your long answer. Okay. Uh, the the new it hasn't come out yet or officially, but the new 2024 DMG yep. has been released to some creators, and there are videos about magical items because they've changed. Yeah. I've seen, I, I do have, I think I've seen the list of a few things on there, but I haven't gone through it yet. Right. If you haven't gone through it yet, then I, w- I won't probe about those yet. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure they're probably already on D&D Beyond. Um, but yeah, when I have time, uh, we'll go over what you're looking for. Cool, cool. Right. Even though uh, it's only asking me about my enemies, I still tell it everything about my life for, record <laughs> for the four hours. Um, yeah, uh, anything about Drax or Fizbin, especially if he finds out what Fizbin has given you, mm-hmm. he's coming up with a wide variety of uses. Mm, okay. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it, it's, it's more, now that he knows you might have that, it's, we could do that now. Let's do that now. Screw these people. We can we go off on our own. No. Wait. What did what is your name? black card? These are my best friends. Fine. Plus, we're kind of like saving the world and stuff, which I really want to do. That's my best self, helping everyone. Well, then let's be your best self. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, this is gonna go well with you. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um I honestly thought it was going to be not you to grab it, but that's fine. Um, it's a surprisingly good combination given how heavy into charisma I am. I know. Um, the, the only issue is, like, for me, it's like um, you wouldn't be able to hit, like, level 20 in one oh, class no. now. So, well, I yeah. never could. But yeah, I know. Well... You still could if you went sort and didn't go bard, but now that you're multi-classed, it doesn't matter. Like, because mm-hmm. I gave Ben, I gave Pretzels the option. You don't have to take this. Mm-hmm. We could just get rid of one of your sorcerer levels, but I see. I'm okay with said, it. Yeah, the, I wasn't hitting ben twenty was like, in anything. No, I'm, anyways, I'm okay yeah. leveling up again. It's like perfect. So I'm probably not going any more into sorcerer necessarily, so I'm okay yeah. dipping into other things. Okay. Um, so where are you headed? What's your nearest... Uh, where are you going back to your inn? I could really use a, a long sleep, you guys. I am I'm. I have a couple of things left, but I'm pretty tapped. It'll be dinner by the time you guys come home. Yeah, some food and rest be nice. Food and rest would be great. I'm fine. Alright. Um, when you guys hit... I don't think I have your party token, anyway. When you guys hit the... Market district um, coming in pretty much like around number seven. Um, you guys would know like around number eight is where the carnival guys are. Um, it's dark, not too dark where you can't really see. You know the town a fair good while now. Um, you see one random, looks to be a gnome 
nice little short outfit red little cap um, has a bag in her hand and she's running up towards you guys and she just goes oh she looks at the piece of paper looks at you guys piece of paper uh, she's got like uh, uh, give me perception checks actually no sorry not perception um, arcana I rolled on that one anyway. <laughs> 27. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Talos. Talos, you have 31. You, you have something Amazing. that you've just been given like this. Uh, she has some, uh, she's pretty much has like a tuning fork in her hand and she keeps looking at a sheet of paper. Um, she's looking at you guys and going, ah, whew, you guys are hard to fucking fight. Oh boy. Uh, give me history rolls, please. Three. <laughs> Which makes sense. You, you live on the water. <laughs> Nine for Talos. What did Sabrin get? I might have to have Ben in uh, two for all. Uh, fourteen. Okay. Uh, if you want me to get higher, I can. I'll spend a lucky point if you want. Let me well, roll it. Let's see how these guys do. Uh, <laughs> not good for you. Oh, I'll roll uh, for Talos. Ben's not at least. Here. Yeah, Ben's good. Uh, Ben's, Ben's gonna look at everybody uh, and go. Oh. um... I've seen these guys before. They are the um, Lunaran Postal Service. Uh, so you are being oh. given mail. Uh, huh. Looks like uh, uh, Ben would uh, give you a quick. Um, they employ wizards uh, who can locate people and give them their mail that don't have a set address, basically. Oh. Oh. Who's um, calling she, us? She's quite short. Um <laughs> little homely but uh talos you'd be able to tell she's got a lot of interesting gear hmm. for someone who handles deliveries like um she's like looking you guys up and down and going oh okay that's why i'm having a hard time finding you guys right so I've been looking for you guys for a few days now. Um, you travel along a lot, and I've been using a lot of magic trying to uh, teleport where you guys currently are. So, um, I am looking for... Uh, the description doesn't really fit any of you. Uh, Francisco de Corsair and one Benjamin. Yeah. Uh, you, Francisco's you dead. We're his next of kin. Uh, Francisco actually talked before you. Yeah, I did. And because Francisco looks like the dead, that dead girl, that wife of the uh, Peter oh, dude. you're still looking like Yeah, her. remember, I'm, I, 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 it hasn't been a day, so I'm still looking like her. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll say Constantori knows what you look like, really. He probably, we'll just say he can see past that illusion for you to a tune, so he knows yeah. what you look like. Okay. Um Right, okay. Um, well, um, you are both being handed a letter. You've been served. That's why um, I feel like. Um, so, um, I got these letters. Oh, it's been a few days now. Um, so, yes. Um, can you guys sign here saying that you were delivered your letter, please? Um, sure. Francisco from Francisco is going to grab it and he's going to just write an F. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, ben will send Ben. Um, I was going to make Ben read this out loud anyway. Um, Francisco, I'm going to give you yours okay. personally. Whether or not you want to tell everybody what it is, I will leave that up to you. But for the listeners, I think it'd be handy, even though other people don't know what it is. Uh, like, even if you don't want to tell the other people. Ben's, um, I will read for Ben. Ben, I hope this letter finds you in good health and that your efforts to keep watch on Talos and Sabrin are going well. When you have time, can you bring both of them back to the sanctuary, as I have a job for all three of you? It has something to do with the day I found you in the library, and I think it's time you both something learned something about that day. Sabrin has special qualities that 
in her that she doesn't even know about that will help. Please come soon. And a lot of the students here give you both their best. Dean Helen Bagnus. Well, that's good. We wanted to talk to her anyways. Didn't she just have send you a letter, Talos, or something? She, she pretty much sent one to Ben to see who got it first. You guys just, it didn't get, in the, <laughs> it, she, she sent it like after, and then I went, no, this is going to be fun to give it to them later. <laughs> yeah. So if She's on our list. We got to talk to her anyways. Yeah. yeah. Um, so if you would like to <laughs> speak to that, or I can in her voice for you. No, I will read it. Okay. Um, after the the gnome would have thanked you for your signatures and um, pretty much just like backed away and let you guys have thank your you time. welcome bye now quick, quick question um, you can also um, while you're doing that uh, if you're immediately opening it Francisco um, Ben's reading your reading. Talos and Sabrin can give me perception checks, please. Uh, 15, because okay. now mine is 15. Uh, okay. Helga got uh, 10. 9, okay. but my passive is 15, so. That's fine. Nope. Needed higher. Okay, so here's here's my quick question. I've already read it, but before I read it out loud, because I'm also I also have a plan. Um, <laughs> now, about this prophecy. Yes, I know that my now current form fulfills this pro prophecy. Correct? It could. Or I or I I I look like the guy. I look like the guy. You're both could fulfill it somehow at some point whether or not it is you or in is still up to chance your situation and age would would work also for it you'd be able to tell that ian would be now because you're a tiefling a good backup yeah either or okay so the are you sorry? Are you reading this out loud or just for the viewers? Um, when we get to the end, I'll say I read it out loud. Okay. Um, Francisco, I am glad that I'm glad you are back alive and living your best life. Usually, I get very angry when someone finds a way out of the blood contract with me, but. You are a special individual. Now, from what I've seen and been told, you did something rather special to become what you currently are, and I applaud your efforts as a father to keep Ian safe. But, and it's a big but, <laughs> even, if, even if you don't believe in anything other than yourself, I have a whole bunch of people that depend on me, so even though you are family, I have a prophecy to make sure it comes to pass. So, unless you have another way up your sleeves to make me not able to track you, you have one week left to find and deal with your father and give me my amulet back before I send someone to deal with you and anyone near you. All the best, M.M. Oh, it's from your grandma. Um, T Talos? Yes? Can you send a sending for me? One sec. I'm checking if I have a spell slot for <laughs> Do I have any left? I could upcast it, yes. Alright, I need 25 words. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and Talos, I am going to ask you to send this message word for word. So, um, not know. today, Talos, but uh, maybe tomorrow, if you can, we should send a, a message to 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 the dean and tell her we can't come right away. But 
she could be next on our, our list because if we have to deal with this first, we can't yeah. make you both in a week, I think, maybe. At least don't, I don't want her to think you're on the way. In some but way, I don't want you to use all your stuff today. In some way, along your travels back to the inn, you hear dogs barking and fighting. Yeah, no, freaking. no dog fighting. <laughs> Sprint sprints off for the dog There's fighting. Yeah. dog fight going no, around. No, please. <laughs> All right, I gotta go stop that. I'm using my new sword. <laughs> this is what Tooth was looking for earlier. <laughs> Tooth and I are gonna go rescue the animal population of the world. Let's go. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna type it on the thing. Okay. Yeah. So that way you can read it. Okay. And I assume you're sending a response to the Mother Matron? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> or Matron Mother? Matron Mother. Grandma. <laughs> and oh, let me it. not mm. not have typos. <laughs> At least it was a nice letter. <laughs> Oh, Tell yeah. us it's exactly I, 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 as written with the typos. <laughs> That's a. It was a very polite letter, considering what it could have been. Yep, true. <laughs> After the week is up, it might be a different letter. Mm. Well, when was the letter sent? Uh, she's had it for a couple days, so probably at the point when. You guys would have been 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. having your tattoos done. So we have like four 15. days then, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Pretty much when you came to Fort Hope. We have four days then. Oh, right, I didn't even think of that. I went from now, when you got the letter, right? It would have been seven days from when she sent it, I assumed. So she's been looking for you for two days, so we'll say five left. Five week. left, okay. Okay. Give or take. You never know. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Shit. You don't have to use well, all twenty five. I want now I, I well I, I have a lot to say and short words to say it. Mm. <laughs> You can always do it in the morning if you like. Once Talos has his spell slots back. Talos? I'll check if I have a school. Um, I mean, I'm okay with doing it in the morning. And I'll still type this out. And pretty much, I, it looks like I'm going to get about 30 to 35 words. Which sucks. I have a spare, I have a spare sending scroll if you want to send. If you need to send to. Francisco's angry enough to say yes. <laughs> it would not get used otherwise. Okay. Um, all right. Um, while he's doing this, and you guys come back to your inn, um, you guys will notice. A tooth will notice first because Tooth will go check on his Fardo, on the um, <laughs> his deep brothy, um, and he's going to take Helga to introduce her to the deep brothy because she's probably never <clears throat> seen one before. Um. And very quickly, um, we can say either Talos does this when you get to the inn or along the journey, that, that doesn't matter. Um, Tooth's pretty much just going to uh, let you all know that Valen is in the inn, sitting down in a chair, talking to the Deep Brothy. Inside? Inside the inn. Okay. Sorry, no. Inside the uh, stable. I was like, she got the Deep Brothy in the inn? That's yeah. impressive. <laughs> In the stable, like, where your Vardo is. Yep. She's just saying, um, hi guys, I got something to tell you. And she... Oh my god, so much has happened today, Belen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we have, we have plans. We have the next two stops planned, okay? Um, that's fine. If you're in a hurry, this won't take too, too long. Uh, maybe a day? What is it? Well... Kelvin and I came to an agreement. Oh, we brought Kelvin a boyfriend. Oh. I don't think he swings that way. Uh, you don't know him. He, he, says he spends all his time protecting his sword. He definitely swings that way. Oh. It's a staff. 
but so yes. This yeah, is... Okay, okay. <laughs> right. Uh, anyway, beyond that, huh? Him and I came to an agreement, and we're gonna try and he's. I know you guys are attuned to the tower, and I have no idea. I don't want any part of that. Now you guys remember <laughs> attuning to the door and the tower mm-hmm. itself. Come with me. Uh, she's gonna take you to the back of the inn. And she has drawn on the ground. She's cleaned it out. And there's a teleportation circle that's almost finished. And she's just asking you guys to step in. And she wants to give you a gift. Oh. Are we leaving town? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay gonna do something but let's go uh with that francisco you would almost gauge that she knows your new form that's why she sent it to you she oh the well ability to scry on you that's I, I, thought she, I thought she was i thought she wasn't able to scry on me because of the new form i thought we she established can, that not you she can scry on the people around you oh fuck oh yeah she knows exactly what the fuck you look like now well, um, just you, just for your reply, yeah. Just okay, my bad. Yeah. That's yes. I, I had. Uh, she's rolled a couple uh, scries that you guys have failed on. She knows a lot. She's definitely keeping track and tabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Seven, um, nine. but yeah. Uh, so. She's basically telling you she's teleporting you to one of Kelvin's other tower areas. She has been there, and she has found out uh, how to teleport you to where he currently has another house location. Okay. Yeah. But the house can only do it once per 24 hours. So she could send you back to her house if you wanted but the house wouldn't be able to come for another 24 back here she's basically giving you a one-way journey and moving your house to another location up north you're moving our house well i'm gonna move you to where kelvin can teleport so you can now go between these two places once a day okay you said you, you have something for us this is what i have for you Oh, oh, oh! You, it's just gonna take but the day because then we can't get back yet. Correct. I see. Yes. Okay. You Why not? I guess if we can come so back I'm... in a day, yeah. Yeah. Um, she's gonna show you a map. Oh, this is Helga. She's with us now. Uh, Valen's just gonna look up and down and go. Eh, good luck with these guys. Um, they're an entertaining bunch. Uh, have you guys found out anything yet about your current mission? That I'm supposed to be helping you with. Yeah, we actually have a lot of info. Oh, good. Actually, so... one of the people on the list is our second stop. Not Ooh. for another week or maybe. But Well, if you found his father, mm-hmm. I would love to help. That's what I'm here for. Oh, you're right. That's next on our list. I think we know where he is, but only for the next five to ten days. Oh, we got So we're going very there. soon. We got plenty of time then. This yeah. will be fun. I like okay. revenge. <laughs> the sword here's revenge and it's just like hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um she she already has her own. Um No, sorry, she's different. Never mind. Uh I'm gonna move you to a map. I don't remember which map I have. If you're talking, on. you're muted. Oh, you're counting. No, I'm good. Oh he's No good. no. Yeah, so yeah. Is this the correct map? Yes. So, on the uh, Roll20 map, where Lake of the Woods is that says Kelvin's Tower, that's where she's moving you to. Lake of the Woods. Way up there! Oh, my God. Yep. It actually puts you closer to the sanctuary, but... So, basically, she's going to teleport you guys there. She's telling you that there is a pillar there that you can put your hand on. And because you're tuned to the tower, 
it'll teleport the tower here via the uh, portal. Sorry, the uh, stone that you put your hand on. It's basically a handprint of those who's attuned to the tower will teleport it here. But it takes 24 hours to charge to teleport back home to uh, New Hope. Okie dokie. But she can also create a teleportation circle to take you to her home if you would like also. Touch. Okay. You're not there yet. Because I'm... Uh oh. Yeah. If you guys want to, because it's 930, we can say everybody's there. Um, she's going to use um, Enlarge Reduce again on the Vardo uh, and the Deep Rothy to get them so they can come with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's doing one Professor Scant. Her orb is doing the other. So... Um, unless you guys have anything left to do in Port Hope, you're going to be leaving now. Is that supposed to say, hey, bitch? <laughs> yeah, I was it does not. Hey, bitch. hey <laughs> bitch, kill you all if you want to fuck with me. Just kill, Just kill Zdramas, Zdramas and, more. and more. Stay away from Ian. <laughs> yeah. Deepest regards, Francisco. Okay. Uh, okay. Is that 22 or 23 words? S23 because I just I just did that edit of Zendramus and more. Right. And it's gonna be twenty-four because I'll It kill is you twenty-three. All. So now it's twenty-four because I'm saying I'll kill you all. <laughs> okay. Uh you're yeah. assuming she knows who Zandramus is. I'm I am assuming she knows who Zandramus is because uh, her being a matron mother and somehow knowing shit. All right, so I'm assuming Talos says this and sends it. I I I read it. Love. Okay. Okay. And then send it. Oh, I wanted to hear Talos say, "Hey, bitch." <laughs> yeah, I, I I didn't think about the cursing <laughs> until, <laughs> until, until so my bad. I'll, I'll leave that up to Talos if he actually says that word for word. I mean, he'll send it word for word. Yes. Okay. I don't know if you actually like say it out loud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, the reply from the matron mother is she's just going to go, ah, Talos, you could do so much better than him. I really hope I don't have to come after all of you because of him. Good luck. She wishes us good luck. Oh, it's nice. I think she's going to like us. <laughs> Do we that know? is the uh, the sense I got from the message. Do we know where the, where they got relocated to? No, you have not figured. Um, we need to find out the, where they are. The only Sabrin and Ben saw something that would give them a kind of a location uh, when the world was stopped you've seen a bunch of illusions that were not there and you do remember up to the left like in between Port Mead and New Hope in the mountains it looks like there was a massive hole in one of them that had crude old buildings inside So in this general vicinity, whether or not that's them, that was the only thing you gauge. And when you were in New Hope Chapel, um, when you were under, uh, when you were, I can't remember exactly where, but uh, Tooth did feel a bunch of underground movement heading north. No, I'm sorry. I was typing. Where are we heading now? Well, Valen has a teleportation circle ready to take you guys to a location to the north so that you don't have to travel there on your own. She's already been there. She has created a connection there. 
and she's going to take you there so you can summon your house there so now that you can go between new hope and lake of the woods once every 24 hours get you okay. kind of closer to anywhere you need to be okay yeah uh, remind me because i think we already know but i have forgotten where is francisco's father is Fortune Sea area, wasn't it? Fortune Island. He's somewhere on this island. The island itself is quite big. Uh, you guys would know that weather-wise, it is hard to land there uh, due to the coral reefs, just the weather, the rocks. Unless you know how to land there and where to go, you would probably be shipwrecked. Uh, Valen is the only one you currently know who has been there before, which is mm. why she was supposed to come with you. Yeah. To where she lost her arm. Mm. But that was a while ago. I think like 80 years, I think, ish. I have that written down. Yeah, 80 years ago. So now we're actually closer to the D. Correct. For later, or, yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So, you guys step into the lovely circle. Um, yeah. Your Vardo and your Deep Rothy get shrunk, uh, so you can fit. Um, it's a tight squeeze, but you guys do immediately get sent to a very... So you're pretty much going from an inn to a... You're about 300 feet up on a, like a nice little cliff side over top of the Lake of the Woods. Um, it looks like this place is hasn't been touched in a while. There's a lot of overgrowth. And in the middle is one... Uh, it's like about a two and a half foot diameter big round marble... Almost like a, uh, a statue of Kelvin holding the black staff. Hmm. And it's got spots for your handprints to go on. I this was a tea bag. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as soon as you guys put, or whoever puts their hands on it, you see the statue give a little, bla little bow. And then almost immediately, arcane runes come all the way around it, blue, red, then it starts to crackle. And then, like, almost immediately, you guys are in your wizard's tower, and the black staff is right in front of you. I'll move you back over to your tower. And Kelvin just says, oh, she found you. Good. Nice to stretch our legs and get a new view every now and then yeah we brought we, we brought you company we brought you a friend i'll open the bag <laughs> open the friend. hole i like friends i can't i can't pick this up yeah. Helga, please okay oh uh, yeah here you're fine here you go francisco yeah. look y'all two can look at each other now Kelvin's going to look at uh, your uh, Canston Tory and they're going to look at each other and go, Ugh, fuck. This is going to be hate at first sight, isn't it? He's better looking than I am. The other one's going to just look at him and go, of course I'm better looking than you. Come on. Neither of us know who's talking. <laughs> no. Uh, the one who's definitely better looking is Canston Tory. So, <laughs> Kelvin. Yeah, Kelvin's like, I'm not one of a kind anymore. Come on, guys. This is mean. This is my place. I built it. I don't want to have to have someone to talk with. I enjoy my peace and quiet. Fuck this. That's pretty much the vibe. It's like, why would you do this to me? I've been nice. I just came to you guys. Why do I have to deal with the uh, I th thought you wanted a friend. Yeah. A friend? I enjoyed the peace and quiet. Plus, I got ghosts to talk to if I feel like. Okay, look here. You, Con Connie, you can go up in my room, okay? Okay. Is the name. I don't want a, a, t a room with a door. I need. I like this. Fuck him. I'll, I'll set you up in the window. You can look outside. Oh, no, I can do anything about it. 
Okay. Uh, as soon as you like start to move, he's gonna shoot a magic missile like right <laughs> near Kelvin. <laughs> Just wow. to go. Bet you can't do that. <laughs> Kelvin's like, uh, I didn't even think of that. I didn't give myself any defenses. Fuck. Let's not destroy the house. <laughs> Just Francisco's room. <laughs> No, don't destroy Francisco's room either, Sabrin. Oh. He's still no. just mad because some animals were, were fucking on his bed. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, we really gotta clean your sheets. Out from they should have been clean by now. Yeah, you also <laughs> now have your Deep Rothy and the Vardo inside. Um, at least they're small enough they'll get through the door now. Yeah. Because um, they are technically medium sized. Um, How are we going to get them up the stairs? <laughs> uh, Valen's just going to like immediately just like cover, like do levitate or something underneath. Oh, and neat, it's going to come up. And from inside the, uh, the Vardo, you're going to hear Yarn Spinner go, Oh, can I come out and play? Sure. No, no, hey, 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 totally. hey, hey, yeah. hey, hey, no, totally no, no. Totally come out no. and play. We're in a new place. It's a new area. I think there's Ooh. woods nearby or Wait, something. I, I feel yarn spinner where I should be. This is wow, Francisco. Con hi, Connie. You, I'm going to introduce Connie to yarn spinner. Oh, okay. I didn't think of that. Uh, yarn spinner's going to look and go. Oh, I love a new audience. Does he enjoy story time? Connie? I don't know who the fuck you're talking to. I hear a voice. What? I, I'm not really in a position to say no, am I? Oh, I well, all right. So, story. so uh, Yarn Spinner tells a lot of stories. You got a lot of stories. He's got a lot of stories. Maybe I might hit it off. I'm okay with that as long as you're okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. And At least until... Yeah, I need you. Okay. Great uh, idea. Basically, one large uh, spider claw is going to come out and just basically like articulate everywhere, grab the painting, and take it back inside the Vardo. Thank yep. you. <laughs> Have fun. We'll get along great. Don't do anything Francisco wouldn't do. Oh, wait. That's not Never on mind. List. I know, I realized. Con <laughs> Connie, did, Connie did learn that one of the one of the only women I am not sexually attracted to is Strawberry Lily. Why did that anyway. come up in conversation? <laughs> because he, he 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 wants he wants to get to know me. Yeah. Oh. So I was trying to think of something that Francisco wouldn't mm -hmm. do, and it's Strawberry Lily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, feelings highly mutual. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, you guys are now. Uh, you'd be able to tell this probably made a lot of noise back home. Yeah. Yeah, I was uh, thinking, how, how long has this house been there? This house like that, is... This that, that's is, probably like a, a landmark for locals. A at least a century. Yeah. <laughs> that is it's, just, it's just gone. Now it has an empty hole with a statue of Kelvin and a black staff. <laughs> Nice. Several yep. people are getting lost on their way home because there's no longer that landmark there. Yep. It's me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but now, uh, Kelvin, you'd be able to tell um, he's keeping the tower how it looks outside. He's not changing the, the illusion anything. From the outside, it's going to look like how it actually should look. Is that just because there's nothing around? Um, or he doesn't care. Maybe it's time for him to show himself and whatever you guys are doing. Unless you tell him to change the shape, he's not. Is there, like, people around? Uh, you haven't gotten outside to take a look yet. If you'd like to take a look, you'd be able to tell from the outside. Uh, there is still, you can, uh, your Vardo and uh, the Deep Rothy will have a lovely spot to, um, like, sit there. Um, they have your, like, your stable, the ghosts can come out and feed them and stuff like that. Um, there's not a lot of people around. Your nearest neighbors may be five miles away in the woods. Yeah. Um, yeah. There is a path 
like a stairway path going down like that's been carved into the cliff side down to the water there'd be like a nice little uh dock there with like maybe kelvin at some point sat there enjoyed the water and fished it maybe okay. yeah but you're not close to really anything anywhere um and you would have a path that looks like it's going to a just a wall uh, like a pretty much like a forest but there's no entrance into the forest but the path goes in there maybe you've gone through an illusion like that already so yeah yeah cool <laughs> So uh, I'm going to bed. Yeah, food and sleep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The, My uh, room is literally outside of the store, so I'm just gonna yeah. go. You would definitely have. Um, uh, I'll say just for fun sakes, um, uh, yarn spinner is gonna let your bats come out to play. Yay! They are growing at a rate that maybe more time has passed inside his cave they're pretty much fully grown now my babies they are not babies they will not yes they really... are <laughs> they're taller than you currently now that's not hard <laughs> they're uh, babies they're babies but very soon the longer they stay with yarn spinner the faster mm -hmm. they're gonna mature but they are happy to see mommy. I still and, feed them. Either. And mommy's with Ben. Mm -hmm. And Tooth. Yeah. They, yeah. These things are, if they start shitting in places, they're going to be quite <laughs> big. Yeah. Only so on they're not shitting my room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, ben, <laughs> if Pretzels was here, Ben would see the ghost, just look at them all and go, fuck me. <laughs> More this is why they were, uh, what were they? We... They were striking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, they're back again. Oh. Hi, Ben. Yeah, we'll get some food ready for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tooth's pretty much just going to go outside and enjoy the outdoors. If Francisco and... uses his ghost step, can he see the ghosts? It's pretty quick, so mm, I'm going to say probably not. No, they're... they're... Not last? Yeah, only lasts around. Yeah. Oh, right. I, there's three yeah. there's three it, charts it, it, per day gotcha. in the last room. Yeah, it's pretty much just like a misty step. You're not like ethereal. Gotcha. It's just yeah, here and there. Just yeah. Yeah, that's pretty more, cool. They're they're um they're actual ghosts, not a spirit like Prex. If Prex was still here, you'd probably see Prex, not the ghosts. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. Um Valen's gonna uh, pretty much uh, let you guys. You can go to bed here, she says, or I can take you back to my place and we could sleep there. Why would we but need to go back you... to your place? Well, I can get you closer to your destination. You can just do that in the morning. We can do that too. Um, you said you're in a hurry. Well then, um, everyone goes to bed. Um, only. Two of you, well, three of you now with Helga need sleep. Um, mm -hmm. What is Talos doing overnight before you need to go to bed? Anything specific? Reading anything? Do you want to start any new books? You do know that Sprint yeah. got some books. Yeah, well, got too many books. Okay. Can't believe I said that. Uh, I think the book to start on would be the. Uh, Zen, 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 Zen. Okay, you're gonna Z's deep book. dive. You're gonna deep dive more into the uh, extra mm. stuff. Okay, perfect. Try, try and crack her. Okay. Encryption. Okay. Um, give me a straight intelligence roll, please. You're working. For fuck's on sake. It. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe next read tomorrow. Yeah, looks like it's quite encrypted. This handwriting is illegible. Uh, what languages do you read again? Uh, read again? I read, uh, read or speak common, dwarvish, gnomish, sylvan. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Okay. All right. I take I take it it's not written in one of those. <laughs> nope, it is not. 
All right. Uh, Francisco, I assume, just straight to bed? Yep. Yep, I'm okay. going to say straight to bed. Okay. Uh, what is Sabrin doing? Um, Sabrin is actually very tired. Um, yep. Obviously, she's not going to sleep, but she's not no. going to do anything specific tonight. She's not going to read anything. She's not going to work on her flute. She's actually just going to rest tonight with the bats. Okay. That works. Perfect. Just snuggle with the babies. Okay. All right. Um, Tooth's probably going to stay outside a little bit of quiet time because um, he's in a nice spot that's quite quiet and I would assume he'd enjoy the uh, the outdoors. Uh, Ben's probably just going to get to know the ghosts maybe some more. Um, right. So uh, you guys can have a long rest. I will do mm -hmm. a long rest for Ben and Tooth. been a few days since you've had one. Mm. And nobody died. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I didn't go down. Nope. You no, a, you came close. Bit, uh, I was oh. below half. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I probably would have came, went down if I had gotten healed before again. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. All right, so Kelvin's going to let you know now that you are tuned to this spot, anytime you're at home, you can go from here to here anytime. You just tell him where you want to go. Okay. So he can teleport you once per day, once every 24 hours, to either spot. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah, come morning, uh, we will pick that up next session. Sweet. Okay. And we all leveled. 